Oh, oh. Uh, okay, too much of a risk, a little too fast. Okay. You're doing to me. Put me finger yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So not quite dry yet. But I really like what that looks I like. Do. And honestly, when you think about that, that whole background, which you could say is a done background, yeah. that was four sprays. Yeah. Um, and that that's really highlighted the texture of the paper. It has, it really it really shows you did the stuff that up. Completely yeah. on purpose. On purpose, like always. So let's just do one more spritz because we can. And again, kind of soft, Beautiful. and just you can begin to build up the layers yeah. like that. If you if you like the spots, I do. I love that. Yeah. Leave it as it is. If you don't, take the baby wipe and spread it around. Yeah. So we're gonna just put this aside. And just let as it much dry. as I love it, and just let it dry. Yeah. And we're gonna do go. Do you prefer with things like this? Do you prefer them to to dry naturally, or do you heat gun them sometimes? Oh, I almost never use a heat tool unless I'm embossing. Mm -hmm. For me using a heat tool is wasting time. Yeah. I yeah. would just rather go. So I either choose a product that dries fast or is yeah. permanent or I don't care if they blend and bleed. Yes. And that's what mixed media is about. I mean the mess of it is what's the beauty. Yeah. The bigger yeah. the mess, especially at the beginning, the better the result. <laughs> yeah. I'll always remember that. Yeah. Just aim for a big mess. Yes, aim for a big mess, you'll be fine. <laughs> so I love this one. The darker one. Yeah, but, I love but that. But I am actually going to choose this one because this one is, you know, it's it's not yelling. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I want to make it yell. Excellent. So we're going to shift gears a little bit. <laughs> make and we're gonna, a big mess we're gonna, and make it yell. Um, use the sprays, but in a different way. We're going to use the sprays um, through a stencil. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do is, loving this stencil for lots of reasons. I do love the design. This is the arabesque. Mm. It's in the set that we're selling. But I really like it because it doesn't have a squared off edge. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about getting a square. Yes. So I'm going to just choose a different color and I'm going to go in Let's go in with some of this, uh, yeah, let's go in with the um, pomegranate. Beautiful. And I'm going to kind of stay far away. And remember, you don't need that much. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a nice, it's funny, isn't it? Because it, sometimes it doesn't look like you've printed much, but look at that. Look at you've that. got a beautiful print. And what I find is that people tend to spray and spray and spray and they mm. flood it. Flooding's okay, but if you want the subtlety, which is what I'm going for, the background, you want to do it that way. Yeah. And then I'm going to just turn this upside down, yeah. the stencil that I just used, and I'm going to take another piece of paper and I'm just going to take advantage of that yeah. and begin to make my first bit of hot mess. Yeah, yeah, we like that. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm going to go in again, mess. and I'm actually going to go in with another color, um, and I'm going to spray over the one I just sprayed, okay. but I'm going to kind of bump it off. And the idea behind that is to create that sense of depth and and um, and again only and dimension. Really light. It's just really light and subtle. Yeah, yeah, that is subtle. I and love then that. let's go a little heavier here, but not that much. And, and you're not worrying about the the card being flat down either. Oh uh, no. I mean, that's the beauty of mixed media. It's so forgiving. Mm. You don't, you never have to be perfect. I mean, you, you shouldn't be perfect. And we could, you know, do one of those too. See, as well. that's the one spritz and it looks fabulous. Yeah, it's just really soft. Mm. Um, I love my backgrounds to be sort of blended and melded. And then eventually I can work heavier over it. Yeah. But I want my background to be a background. Yeah. I now, love that. I, I do love that um, pomegranate color. So I am going to now. Say more is more, and I am going <laughs> to shoot a little bit more if I can actually hit it. And I'm going to just add <laughs> some more red, and then maybe a little bit in that corner, too. Yeah. Yeah, and that, yeah, so like in that. that just that little bit of spray, I've changed it up so much. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Because that, now, it's really blended in, hasn't it? Yeah. And um, we it's did have a question so. about the, the eye zinc on fabric. Um, these won't, uh, These will work on fabric. These do work on fabric. Now, these are not um, washable on fabric. Right. So this yeah. is not to wash. This is to use in your fiber art. And in fact, there's several colors. Um, these in particular that you have here, these sort of um, vintage tones. Yeah. They look amazing if you do sort of a faux tea dye. Yeah. So I just soak my f my fibers. I let them dry, and then they're um, they're quite amazing. Um, and I don't. I mean, you know, tea is sacred here, so you probably would. <laughs> I don't know. Do, do you do anything with it other than drink it? I um, don't know. Well, there is the technique where they dry out the tea bags. Oh ah, yeah, we bags. love that. We do mm -hmm. love that. That that occurs in the in the Britain. Nice. Um, but if you want in the Britain, um, if in you the Britain. do, yes, if you um, if you use the the ice, then that's multi-surface, so that can actually that go is multi-surface, and that can go on fabric. Amazing. Uh, it's quite beautiful um, on on fabric. So good um, question. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Any other questions? Feel free. Mm. And no speaking one. of ice.
Yes. It's like we planned it, Yay. but we didn't. I want to shift gears, and I want to do two different things um, using two different products to these pieces. Cool. So this, I'm saying this is my background. So now I want to go and I want to get the ice. Um, so I have these colors here um, that I brought out before. And the ice is that translucent glaze. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it with a palette knife. You don't have to use it with a palette knife, but it's become my favorite. And I'm going to use it as a glaze over this. I suppose with a palette knife, like if you're using it with the brush, you are going to get the brush strokes, aren't you? You're going to get the brush strokes, definitely. And the tricky part about the brush, it's the only tricky part, is that if you don't clean it instantly, uh, it's not going to be useful. Happy. Yeah. Mm. No, it won't be happy. Mm. Um, <laughs> So that's what, one of the reasons why I stick to this. Got so many brushes um, like that. <laughs> I know, unhappy brushes. <laughs> that is mad. So I'm going to go ahead mm. and I'm just going to swipe on it. And as you can see, it's going to add the color. It's going to add a little bit of sheen. Beautiful. And depending upon what color is underneath it, it's going to have a little bit of a different look. Yeah. And it's not moving it. You know, I, the the little dots, they're still yeah, there. Yeah, they're still staying there. And that has highlighted those. It's made the, the red so <laughs> <laughs> You just love getting into my art. It has <laughs> highlighted it. What I find is that one of the things that the ice does is it, it lifts the colors that are underneath it. Yeah, that is really interesting. So if you are working on a piece and you don't know where you want it to go, you don't know that you like it, yeah. a little bit of glaze with the ice can completely shift it. Yeah. So I'm gonna pretty. I'm gonna make it pretty thin, because I am gonna go back in with a whole nother color now. Um, what I like to do is keep this capped. Yeah. The beauty of the ice packs in this kind of pack is that you'll get every last bit. Excellent. You can reach the just really. So no waste the last on that, which bit. is good. No waste the at all. The color that that has gone is really. Oh, don't lean me on it. It's really interesting. And again, it's got such depth to it. It does have a lot of depth. I think the, the translucency of it gives it mm. sort of a shadow. Mm. Now we're going to completely change it because we're choosing, we talked about this earlier, we're yeah. choosing a blue, one of the several blues that are in the line. And we're going to add a little bit at a time. A little goes a long way. People are often very heavy-handed. You do not need to be heavy-handed with this. And now we're going to just change it completely yeah. we're gonna have some blues we're gonna have some greens oh yeah look at that i just think that yeah. is particularly gorgeous it's so cool i'll move that for now if you've ever used translucent paints um you know that the lighter your background the more true to the color of the paint or ink it will be yeah so the darker you get the less you see so i always encourage people who are starting with this product start light yes. get used to the product then you can begin to really experiment and go dark. Yeah, and then you can get all the layers. That looks so good. I love that mm. bit right there. That is like mixed media magic. I think this is as well. We're putting it on with a palette knife because you get all these little, yes. the little marks. They're the marks so and the bumps, cool. And they're, they're really quite random. Yeah. I'd love to pretend that I know exactly what <laughs> I'm doing. I just know that when I like it, I stop. <laughs> yeah. Do you though? Do I stop? Yeah, that's no. the tricky bit, isn't it? It's so hard to know oh. when to stop. Yeah. I always tell people that if you um, want to show people what you create, you usually pick one piece yeah. from your home. When you get a piece like that, whoops, that's when you know it's done. Yes. I lost that cap. We'll have to get yeah, it after. Gone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take advantage of the fact that the ice is, has some thickness to it. Oh, cool. And so I am going to begin to go in. And I'm going to be at, I hope you can see that. Yeah, you can yeah, see you that. Can see and it. I'm going to be at, I'm going to add some cross hatches now. I'm being very linear here because the background is very organic and I yes. like that contrast. But you could absolutely go in and be swirly, write words, put dots, all things like that. Yeah. So now later on, when I add more elements to this, um, it's going to go into the cracks and the crevices differently. I and it will that. for everything else. And it's else. so easy. It's you know, just so it's so easy. easy to make marks into it. Yeah, you can't go wrong. You know, if I said to people, draw on it, they'd run for the hills. Yeah. You say make marks or scratch. Yes. We all can do that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's just a beautiful, such a beautiful surface. Oh, yeah. And that will dry. I mean, again, the, it dries with that texture. You know, it dries with that wonderful, yes. that wonderful variation that you've created. That it does. Love it. And um, almost 80% of the complete bundle has gone, if you want that. Um, don't miss out on this. Look at that. See, it's such a different background using the, the spritzers. Absolutely, yeah. It? And you can see, you know, with the ice, you still see all the spray. The mm. spray. Yeah. Um, and honestly, this was easy. Yeah. 
You know, yeah. it's just about letting yourself go and play. And I, I do want to show you another easy one yeah, that's please. a little bit different. The lovely um, thing about that as well, literally every time it will be different. Every time. Won't it? Yeah, so the beauty okay. is that if you don't like it, it doesn't matter. Don't stress. Mm. Just add another layer. Yeah. Just add another layer. And if you do like it, take a photograph because you're <laughs> yeah. never going to see it again. <laughs> I always say yeah. that. It's great when you do something you love, but that's it. You'll never do it again. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go back to some embossing because okay. I love my embossing. And we're going to go and we're going to use this. That was The background was done mm. with three different dye sprays. Beautiful. Um, and I'm going to go and I'm going to use one of my cover of cards. So the cover of cards, there's three of these. Um, and I love them because they're full on. Mm. So they are deeply, uh, deeply etched red rubber from IO. You can see that. Um, and I love them because they're full on background. So yeah. if all you used was this with ink, You'd be done. Yes. But of course, we're going to do more. So we're going to go back to our trusty embossing pad, and we're just going to full on emboss, uh, wet wet the um, stamp. Superb. And I'm going to go a little crazy with this because because you can. Because I can. <laughs> and I love to see the shine. Okay, I think I think we're good, right, people? <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to flip it, and you can see my. Um, um, acrylic block isn't exactly sized right for the stamp. No stress or worry when you do mixed media. Yeah. If it's a little off, it's going to be your best part. Uh, yeah. I'm just yeah. going to get some extra pressure at the edges. And it's such good stamp. If you do want the stamps, they are all individual. You can use them in so many ways. Um, check all those out on the website. So now the fun begins. Yeah. Like you can't tell that I've done anything, but I promise you, it can, there's yeah, something there. It's, there. It's, it's picking it up. So I am going to use multiple um, embossing powders, and it, I'm sure there's a, an official name for it, but I call it drizzle. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get a new piece of paper underneath so I can catch the powders on something clean. Super. And I am going to go into multiple powders. So the first one I'm going to go in is the uh, crusty copper. Crusty copper. Yeah. You can have a look did you at name that. these? I did. <laughs> I love naming products. <laughs> it's almost more fun than. Uh, creating them, <laughs> not more fun than using them. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just go in with my finger, okay. and you know, from pretty high up, I'm about I don't know eight inches up. I'm going to just sprinkle it. Right, okay. Um, because what I want is I want a very even coating. And yeah. this is how I begin to mix my powders. I don't want one big, oh yeah, you can see that beautifully. I don't want one big blob anywhere. I want it a pretty even coating. Yeah. Right, so you're putting on your pepper, your salt. Yeah, but not a, you know yeah. you shouldn't encourage people to eat the products <laughs> as tasty as they might yeah. be yeah don't do that okay and then i'm going to just shift this around a little bit like that just to shake it Amazing. um and you're going to actually be able to begin to see yeah if you look closely the form of the stamp yes yeah you can see you the can actual just person. see it come in right in the middle especially where it's lighter yeah but then we're going to go in we're going to use some weather gold we're going to do the same thing mm. um i am i keep saying more is more i am all about if you do it once, do it twice. So for me, this idea of blending, what I've done in the end is I've created an embossing powder that no one else has. Yeah. And it's going to look different every time I do it. And for me, it's just important that I make my own art. Yeah, yeah. And this is a way to do it. And it's so nice because it is so unique, you know? And, and just with one pot, you can get so many different so many. looks. And then my, one of my favorites is Sea of Tranquility. Yeah, this is lush. I just love that color. I love so that. So what I'm hoping is that I've left enough space so this actually has room to stick. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the thing, isn't it? Hopefully, there'll be some of the, the gluey stuff left. Yeah. Um, now, we've had another question, which yes. is a cracker. Um, hmm. So, do you ever varnish or seal any of your work? Okay, this is where I say, uh, do as I say, not do <laughs> as I do. Okay. I almost never varnish my work. Right. First of all, if I'm making work for myself, never. It's yeah. just not worth my time, just like I don't like to clean. <laughs> um, if I'm making something that's very significant, and what I mean by that is maybe something that's going to go in a, an art show or something like that, I will often do that. Yeah. Um, but generally speaking, I prefer not to. Yeah. Um, but the other thing is that I often will now use ice. And ice actually acts as a varnish. Ah. It seals the work. So as long as it's your last layer, yeah. you're going to be okay with that. Oh, that's really yeah. interesting. So again, a two for one. Yeah, that is good. So I'm going to tap off the excess and you can see cool. now. 
yeah, the that's stamp. Good. Yeah. See, yeah. that blue on top of the other colors just works so well. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to just throw in a little etch platinum just because it looks like there's a few spots that didn't stick. And now I can go a little heavier yeah. because most of it's covered. So we're not going to have a big glop. And this that you obviously excess, you, if you're a little bit like, you'd have a spur pot and keep all this because then you've got a good mixed color. Correct. Like this can't go back. No. Um, yeah. So sure. now let's melt it because that's... We've nowhere to put it. No, but we'll use it later. Okay. For sure. I won't, yeah. yeah. If not at the show, don't after. Don't cry, Leonie, don't cry. Yeah. It's going to be okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to heat this and watch the magic. Super. Now, um, using the Wow Embossing Tool, which we have got on the show, um, it's got your two settings as well. You've gone hot I've this gone time. I've gone straight to hot. And actually, one of the reasons why I love this tool is because of that. Because yeah. you, can, you can do everything so much more quickly. If you need to do a soft dry, put it on the low speed. Yeah. If you want to emboss put it on the high speed and you can see how quickly it embosses. Yeah. Also a tip if you have this, don't hold the vents. Ah uh, yeah. There are vents at the end, don't hold it there. Yeah. Because it will overheat. Right, of it's, course. It's got this little waist there. You want to hold it there. Of course, of course. And I love it because look at those colors coming through. Yeah, I hope oh yeah, you can pick that up, right? Um the stuff See, that is such a good... You were talk, chatting earlier, actually, about that patina look. Yes, that's exactly what I was going for. Mm. And the great thing about mixing it this way is that you can go, no pun intended, heavy metal, okay. and just add a little bit of the green patina, yeah, uh, which is a sea of tranquility. Or you can do so much more green and just a touch of, say, weathered gold. You can make it your own, which yeah. is really what I love. And the inconsistency of the fresh, uh, pressing of the stamp I like a lot because what that's meant is that you actually see a good amount yeah. of what's underneath. Yes. Yeah, there's a there's a definite break in the yeah. it's not a solid pattern, yeah. is it? And that's important to me. Mm. Again, so, so do all your layers. Yeah. That's such a good stamp. Yeah, I just think that's I love that stamp. And then you see the shine yeah, look at from those. this. And the texture um, as well. Yeah, and the texture is amazing. And once it cools, you when you go in, you see that the surface is actually scratchy. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's a great shot, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy with this. And I also love the fact that I used a larger sheet so that you can also, you get an automatic frame. Yeah. And so if I were to work on this more, which I, you know, if I, if I were home alone, I would, I would be using that frame to create something a little bit different than what's on the inside. Yeah, I love that. And then build over Because then it. you can start building over, obviously, with your eyes, with anything. But Correct. that looks, oh, here she goes. Here she touched it, but it's dry. <laughs> and can you, can you hear the scratch? Yeah. It's so good. It? Yeah. Yeah, you guys want to reach out, I'll, I'll hold it for you. <laughs> it, it almost feels like you can like, file your nails on it. Yeah. It's wonderful. If you had them. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. mine are broke as well. Um, Seth, I'm going to leave you for a few moments okay. to have a little clean, um, but just to remind everybody what we've got. Um, now, we've mentioned, obviously we've mentioned our Freedom Club and we've mentioned uh, Flexi within the show. What are we showing them? Flexi. Uh, we're showing them a little clip about Flexi. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. 
okay folks so do this super fast um so you have got and we have just seen uh seth using these these are your beautiful blended powders um the colors are fabulous the texture is amazing we're now three quarters of the stock gone um i love these because they're so different because they're so unique um and because every time you use them you'll get something different you've got the lovely little case uh wow fantastic obviously quality as well with your embossing powders and every time i mean look at that doesn't that just look fabulous all those layers and then that powder on the top to give you that amazing color but it's not um an even color and that's because of the blend it's not an even texture again because of the blend and when you feel them they are so tactile so you have to get these and you know me i like i like it it's like oh that's nice and um, the colors are beautiful now 16 pounds and 50 pence is your price zero one six five seven nine now also from our wow is the sticky stuff and this is such a good idea you've got your embossing pad which is an essential you know that is a, a must have in your crafty stash but then this this is ace i really need this um, it's your gloopy stuff but it's basically your embossing fluid with a brush but because of the um the the thickness of that it allows you to do so many techniques i mean that is such a good idea um and again it's not one of those you need to get hold of you need to play only 10 pounds and 98 pence the effects are wonderful whether you are brushing it on whether you're um brushing it on lightly putting it on really nice and thick or maybe making it as seth was doing earlier and making it run down the page it looks so good now two thirds of the stock has gone i love that um if you do want to get hold of that one it's six eight seven three eight two as we were saying when you check your basket out there is um things that it suggests you might want to add to your your order um the black lid one so it's got like a little roller ball on the end that is one of those so make sure while you're checking your basket out you pop that in as well because it's another essential now we've just seen seth uh, using these the colors are fabulous and it's techniques there's so many techniques you can do with spritzers whether you're creating backgrounds whether of course um you're spritzing through your stencils whether you're layering all your colors with this one you can keep them so they're bright so you've got that richness obviously you can lighten them down you might be mixing them up using them with other spritzers other products you've got at home you might obviously with something like this you might be watering them down you know there's loads of different ways of using them i love these the colours are fabulous. Um, they dry quick, and they've got that um, that wonderful intensity. Now, two payments, forty-four pounds and forty-seven pence. Um, you're saving ten pounds if you're going for the big collection. If you do want to go for your set of threes, the details are zooming in at the bottom. Uh, Seven eight zero zero nine nine is your item number for your gorgeous, gorgeous spritzers. Now, to mix and match perfectly, but to give you so many more uh, wonderful effects the eyes and I think Seth lovers um, of the ice has definitely rubbed off I mean I think we're all wanting these I definitely want these I think it's a need it's a need folks uh, two payments again with these the color palette is amazing but it's the techniques it's what you can do with these because you've got that wonderful translucency because you've got the ability to layer but of course you can put these on really nice and thick which will allow you to create some wonderful textures um yeah really like these now these have been seriously busy 80 percent of the stock has gone if you are choosing you've got the choice however that's tricky isn't it and i know i think well i think we're all the same we all want just everything um if you do want to go for the full collection again you're saving 10 pounds you've got your flexi there as well you've got i do like the fact that you can go for your threes however uh, they've been put into color families so they will blend together beautiful and it allows you to build up those collections um nine seven 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 nine two seven if you want to go for your threes however if you like me you want them all one five six eight five two and they have been so busy now next your stamps oh these are so good um 
when you're looking at the website on the stamps, it's dead important to use your drop down menu with thing and that'll allow you to go for all your different options um, and then you'll be able to see the pictures. Really difficult to choose with these as well. I love the first one with the texture, the circles. I'm a mega fan of circles as well. So you've got your wonderful circles. You've got your wonderful uh, borders. Really like the borders. What's that one called? Ringers! So you've got your ringers. And then at the bottom, now you've just seen Seth use one of these, and these are fantastic. Again, for creating that wonderful texture and for creating those full backgrounds. Um, with something like this, you don't have to create a full background. You know, you don't have to use a full stamp. Obviously, you can use just parts of it, but it is just amazing for textures, as you can see here. And use them with powder near it. <laughs> sure, I don't like that. Do not like the scratchy. Oh, I do. It's great. Um, yeah, it's really satisfying on that. Look at that. These are fabulous. Then, of course, let me show you the others as well. Because now I'm showing you loads of cards. So, but look, I love that because it really they're so striking. These stamps, the backgrounds, the your focal points that that used to emphasise. You know, you can use them for so many things. You'll notice as well, um, loads of the words sneaking in. So you definitely get hold of the words. Aren't they fab? Look at that. That's my favourite there. That's just... F I love these because you look into it. You know, you look at all the layers. You try and work out what's been used. You try and work out um, all the different products on there. The stamps are a definite must-have. That makes a piece. Um, £11.99. pence. Um, You've got your choice, good quality, all foam mounted as well, and already cut, so you don't need to cut them. Um, that is 480589. Now, I mentioned the words, and I do, do apologise if I'm sniffling a bit. I've got sniffles. Um, so, <laughs> I'm trying to be subtle. Uh, these are great because they're not and i'm really bad for this you know using the same words over and over again these are fabulous because you've got things um like the the magician which is wonderful bohemian uh, wanderer and the thing is with this as seth, uh, seth was saying earlier on um, you can obviously break it up so dreamer becomes a dream you know your voyager becomes a voyage so you don't have to have the full word it really allows you to um to sort of play with the actual words um i'm, I'm trying to do something silly but my brain isn't that good i was trying to put words together but my brain just went <laughs> <laughs> you, you probably could do all sorts with those. Uh, the font is fabulous because uh, it's that wonderful sort of grungy typewriter. Do you remember old days when you had your typewriter and if it did it like that, it were really annoying? Now we think it's cool. I mean, what, what happened? Uh, but it is fantastic because you've got that wonderful effect and they're a good size as well. Only 12 99 They're going to be dispatched from the 12th of your stamps. 952522. Um, right, have a look at the website. That's where you'll see absolutely everything. Um, if you're checking out the website, if you are shopping from overseas, and I know we've had a lot of people doing just that this hour, um, please check out Achanda Freedom. It is a way of um, basically it's a monthly deal um, but with a child of freedom it means you're not paying your postage and that can be a massive deal if you're putting your orders through um, you could join today for set show but then um, you can cancel but you'd have a month of free postage so please have a look at that obviously the price has changed depending you know where you're shopping so the one you're seeing there is UK we've got a price for um, for Europe and a price for America, of course. So please check that out. It is definitely worth it. Right, back. Back. Ah, to the back. <laughs> right. Love, I love what you said about the typewriter before. It's true, though, isn't it's it? It's so true. It's so I remember true. many, many moons ago using the old-fashioned typewriters, and when the, all the letters went in, just crammed. Oh, yes. Driving nuts. Yeah, now we'd love that. Yeah, yeah, now it'd be the best exactly. thing. Exactly. <laughs> best mark, mark making tool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're going back. So we're going back to the background that we created using Wonderful. the dye sprays and some of the stencils. Wonderful. And we're going to work over it. And we're going to work over it in lots of ways. I'm going to take one of these cover of cards. Beautiful. This is the crackle one. Um, you don't need to make your crackle. This is made for you. And instead of using it like this one, where I'm going to use the entire piece, mm -hmm. I'm just going to use a small element. So I am going to just take an ink pad, and I'm going to just ink up a section. 
I love stamps like this because it's got so much rubber. It really allows you to to see the the sort of um, the colour of the ink. You know, how you're using it. Yes, it really shows up. It really does, it doesn't really it? Does. And I'm just going and I'm adding a little bit of the crackle and I'm doing it to the corners and maybe I'll take a little bit around the edges. And in this way, really simply, one color ink, one stamp, yeah. um, I'm going to create a little bit of a frame. And you're hardly touching that. Hardly, yeah, and that's what I want. I, I, I always say, with a lot of these things go light, yeah. the heavier you go, you can't take it away. You can yeah. always add more. Yeah. And that's how you build up the layers, is soft and slowly. Yeah. Um, until the end. So just that little bit just adds a nice yeah. frame of reference and some color. Yeah, it does. To it. So we're going to put that, that blue, that dark blue, really goes with those really colors. really popped on the background. Mm. And I'm actually sticking with blues for the rest. So good eye. Hey. So we're going to go back and do a little embossing uh, okay. two different ways. I'm going to some of those circle stamps. You and I are both yeah, circle lovers. I love circles. And I am going to use the same colors uh, that I used for the crackle stamp. Beautiful. And I'm just going to ink up both of these. I have these on uh, an acrylic block just because I do want a little bit of a better image because they're the focal points. Right. If they're okay. not perfect, that's fine. Yeah. I'm going to flip this so I can have the stamps cut across the two different colors. Okay. I just think that would be much more interesting. Yeah. So I'm going to lay it like that and give it some pressure. Beautiful. Um, the stamps that we've got are the loopers. So if you do want to use these ones or put these ones in your basket, then um, it's the loopers that you need to be looking out for. It's the loopers. The loopers. I like how um, you say that. This is good because that that's something, you know, when you're, you're putting the piece together to actually think about, you know, what the colour that you're seeing inside the stamp. Exactly. And all the stamps that I've created, they, I always create them with gaps yeah. so that people have the option to see the background or to shift the colour of the background. We could go in now there with some markers and change that up if we like. Yeah. Or watercolour. Yeah. Um, but we're going to go embossing. Yay. So I'm going to use the mixed media embossing brush. I love this. This is the gloop. Oh, this is sorry, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Table. We're so excited. <laughs> so I am going to go in and have you notice how thick it is. Yeah, it's so It's good. just really thick and rich. And because of that, you can decide if you want it thick or if you want it thin. If you want it thin, yeah. you're just going to brush off from the brush. And that's what I'm going to do. Maybe a little bit more than that. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn this. And I'm going to go from there and I'm just going to create a stroke all the way to the bottom. Oh, I when I get stroke. to the bottom, it's going to have been a little bit more broken up and not as thick. That's exactly what I'm going for. And then I'm going to do it again right here. It's and just there we go. considering how long embossing powder embossing has been out. Whoa. See, it didn't yeah, spill. It didn't spill that time. Hooray. That's how thick it is. <laughs> uh, that something like that hasn't been around yeah. yet. I know it's. It's just because it, it's such a good idea. I love the way it um, it makes the colour underneath richer as well. It does. It really does. So, of course, so if you were just using it with clear embossing powder, that's going to look gorgeous. cool. It would be exactly what it would look like. We're going to use the blue moon. That's uh, one of the uh, brighter colours. Wonderful. Whoops! Got so excited, spilled it. <laughs> so I'm going to just go ahead and. Put a little bit on the top. Cool. I'm going to do what I call the waterfall, and I'm going to tip it, and just we'll just watch it Wee. with the brush strokes. Yes. See, now I'm seeing two eyes crying. Oh. See, that's a perfect journal page, <laughs> yeah. right? For those days. <laughs> For those days. I kind of saw lollies. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Are really quite bizarre trees. Yeah, it's true. Or flowers, gardens, yeah. you know. Actually, yeah. now I want to put a third one, three, <laughs> and, and, and make, a, make a little garden. <laughs> and I may just have to. So now I'm going to heat these up. And you'll see the color shift like it always does when you're using embossing powder. Yeah. Oh, and look at that. You see, this is the, the difference we're using um, this, the glue, because yep. you can see the movement. You definitely can see the movement, mm -hmm. and it's it's quite textural. Yeah. You know, it's more textural than the powder, and it actually caught a little bit on the stamp. Oh, I like which that. Which just makes me happy. Yeah. And I use stays on, so that shouldn't happen too much, but let's just see if we can get even a little bit more. I'm sure we can't, but when accidents like that happen, that's when I go, yeah, we got a little bit. How interesting. Well, maybe just a touch. That was wishful sure thinking. Tidy. Oh, I, yeah. I got that really Tidying. quickly. I know you won't see that too often. <laughs> and then let me just hit it underneath. Everybody knows you can heat from underneath. Mm -hmm. And that way the powder won't blow away. There's not much here. But just 
to get just a little enough bit. to get a little flavor and with watercolor card stuff it is it takes a little bit longer doesn't it oh yeah, yeah you can see it it's it's doing something now i can hit it just get a little bit of extra flavor there we go yeah. now if i had wanted to i could have stamped those with with uh, a dye ink yeah and then i would have gotten it just like um as if I was using the embossing. I don't know if you can tell just the th how thick that is yeah. there. Yeah. Um, and then how it trails off. I love that. Yeah, I do. I love those I, those lines. And in fact, I love the fact that the powder has so many colors in it yeah. that it actually echoes the spray background yeah. with all the spots. It does, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It just, just yeah, because it's not that one solid color. It just matches yeah. perfectly. So can we do more? Yes. Okay. So for sure. You talked about. I don't know the lingo, but this is the. Yeah. The product that you get. Yeah. You want to pop into your cart. Yeah. This is the freestyle tool. That's it. It's really made originally to be able to re-ink your ink, uh, ink pad. It has a steel ball bearing top. Wonderful. Which is just pretty cool. So normally what I would do is just go in and put pressure and rub it and yeah. fill on the ink pad. Yeah. Like that. But we can also use it as a freestyler. See, this is such a good idea as well. I just love this idea. So I'm going to, I don't know, let's do some lines. Let's just break the, the whole nature that it's a tree yeah. or tears. <laughs> yeah. And no I don't know, tears. you know, I don't know what those lines are going to look like. And maybe because we can, let's just even. Yeah. It needed the, further. yeah, it had to have circles. Yeah. And I now I'm going to shift out. gears just a bit. And if I can find space dust, I'm going to use space dust. Space dust, it's the last one, of course. Oh, of course. Is um, a bluish rule. tone, but it has some beautiful violets in it as well. I love that, look at that. And we're gonna just go in the top. We're gonna remember to put a piece of paper on the bottom. Oh yeah, good thinking. And then we're <laughs> gonna just pour it down and just watch whatever we did is now gonna appear, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I love that. You know, I kinda liked it before, but I knew that you don't just stop. Yes. More is more. Yeah. And that just... I'm gonna give you. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. See, look at that. When you look at it, there's so many colors oh, in there. Oh, you can see the colors and also the clear crystals. Yeah. A little bit of that glitter. Oh, yeah. I'll stay. Yeah. Look at that. It's, it's, it's a blend of many. Oh, it's so good. And blending, it's just, it just sounds such good fun. You know, then you are a magician and an alchemist. It's all true. And, and an inventor. Mm. That looks really cool. Yeah. I love the shine that this has in yeah. it. Yeah. And it's the way it all starts coming together. Yes. And it's changing it. Definitely. Ch every mark changes it. Yeah, so this is where you just begin to build the layers, and there's so much more you can do. I'm going to do one more thing and then say that that is finished. Okay. Um, although, knowing me, I can always go back <laughs> to it tomorrow, and it will never look the same again. Yeah. And this is where I'm going to go back, and I picked one of my favorite words from the set of words. Ah, cool. And you probably can't see what it is here, but I'm okay with that, because what I want you to see is the surprise. Or maybe you can see it. All right, so... I can't work it out. Okay. I can't even tell us if upside down it right way. <laughs> We're just going to go right to the embossing pad. Wonderful. And we are going to find a spot. We're going to kind of go in the middle, but maybe toward the bottom, right there. And I'm going to press it. Beautiful. And then I'm going to use platinum, um, which I think will be a nice pop off that background and yeah. keep with those cool tones. Yeah. And who knows where the word is, but we'll find it in a second. <laughs> Somewhere um, around there. And then, I don't know if you can see it yet. No, but you will once it melts. Yes. Okay. Oh, you get to clean up again. Yay! Thank you. It's my claim to fame, this, I said. Well, you know you're a good friend if you clean up uh -huh. for someone else. Exactly. There's nothing worse than having to eat yourself. Look at that. Right, and this is what I think we all are. Storyteller. Every time we make our yeah. storyteller, yeah. 
So that was quite simple, really, to make this piece. And I think it's, it's quite simple, effective. Simple, but so effective. Yeah, can we see the storyteller? Yeah. There this it is. Th that yeah. is fabulous because it catches the light. So sometimes it there almost fades in. Yeah. But I love that because it's really subtle, it's isn't great. it? It's great. So when you walk by it, you may not even notice it, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it grabs you. Yeah. And then you want to know the story behind this piece. And yeah. The story behind this piece is I've been having fun with Leone. Yay! Yeah. On her chanda. On her chanda. <laughs> yeah. Um, we've got about two minutes left. Please check your baskets. Out. Oh, I'm so gutted. Um, do we know when you're back? Have we, we, got, have we got a date? We don't have a date. Oh, we need a date. We need a date. Yes, we do a date. We have to come <laughs> back date. for a date. <laughs> It's taken you a few hours, but you got I know, I finally got it. <laughs> a date. And you can join us on our dates. <laughs> you sure you're not Scottish? <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not Scottish. Okay. That, that's proper Lancashire. Oh, okay. Pro oh, yes. Proper. Proper. We don't have time for another demo, do we? Um, we've got 145. I mean, what can you do? 145? Going to slap a little, little, little bit. bit. This is that piece we made before. I just want to put a little bit of... Um, Ice. ice on it just to show you what you can do with the texture so obviously now with the ice if you put the ice on first and left the open spaces because you were talking about this yeah and then spritzed when it were dry yes yeah, so then if I put that the, adapts as a resist correct so if I put the ice on like that uh-huh and then let it dry and that's the key mm. and all that white space uh, if I use the spray dyes um, would fill with the color of the spray dye cool and then um, if you wipe with a towel or a baby wipe, you would have the true color of the ice underneath. Beautiful. I love that. Yeah. Just putting it on. It's and just it's fun. Just it's actually so just fun. Cool. And then again, you can go thick. Yeah. And you can add... Like you can this. create such texture. Yeah, and you can just sort of dig in and just do... Just really do wonderful things to yeah. it. All the random marks. I mean, sure we can't go for another hour? Yeah, let's just stay here. Yeah. That's so cool. I need that. Um, that's your eyes. If you want that, we've only got seconds now. I'm pushing me luck. Um, if you do seconds. want your your eyes, see, look how it keeps changing. Two payments, forty-four pounds, forty-seven pence. Um, you can check your baskets out on everything. It has been ridiculously busy. Um, please don't miss out on any of that. So thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Leonie. It's been thank you all for watching. A pleasure. A pleasure. Oh. Can't wait for the next time. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah it joins on dates. Um, thank you <laughs> ever so much for tuning in. You can watch it on Catch Up. Remember the Facebook Live. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Coming up next, it is that wonderful one day special. We've then got the brand new, well, of course it's that time of the day. We've then got the brand new one day special. It's your stackable solutions. And then our lovely Gina is in the building. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs. All of our products are manufactured in the UK and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic45. These are monthly tutorial kits that allow you to create beautiful projects by accessing step-by-step -step instructional videos that are viewable online. This month we are offering you a choice of two amazing project kits. The first kit is 510702 Club G45 Le Romantique Tag and Pocket Keepsake Album and Gatefold Card Kit. 
Simply order yours by purchasing item number 510702 for £49.99 plus your postage from hochanda.com or give us a call on 01733 62000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. The second kit is 972116, Club G45 Le Romantic Interactive Front Flip Card Kit. You'll get almost everything you need to create both of these projects from scratch, including access to a comprehensive step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 972116 for £34.99 plus your postage from hochanda.com or give us a call on 01733 62000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. Now, it is the final call of our one-day special. Hello, Karen. Hello there. Hey. Now, before we tell you about the one-day special, though, we have got a... Oh, this is good for the bingo wings, isn't it? Um, yeah. Well, it's not doing much for mine, but yeah, yours are beautiful, so you carry Bless on. You. Well, this is a happy hour deal. So only for this hour only, if that makes sense, um, you're getting 160 sheets of your super smooth cardstock. Look at all of that. 300 GSM. Now this works out at just nine pence per sheet. You've got an eight pound saving, wow. which is awesome. Uh, so only until the end of the hour. Check out on all this wonderful cardstock. Ben, you promised you'd be here for me. <laughs> there you go. And it's only two ninety-five postage if you're not a member. That's right. Well, but if you are a member, you're not paying postage mm. at all. Uh, Thirteen pounds and ninety-eight pence uh, is the price. Six one seven six one six eight. Thank you, Ben. Marvellous. Right. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Ooh, oh, no. <laughs> right. Now, the one day special, you're bringing something a bit different. It's very, very different to a chander. Very, yep. very different to, to Pink, Frog. Uh, Pink Frog. It was a chander and Mr. Pink Frog that got together, had a good talk about yep. it. And no, I'm not Mrs. Pink Frog. Yes, yes. <laughs> just Keep clarify. telling everybody, clarify <laughs> it. And it's digital files. Right. It's what we call um, SVG, which is Scalable Vector graphics marvelous which means that you put them into software that reads an SVG yep. and you can manipulate the shape of it you can manipulate the size of it right you can alter it you can you can uh, an aspect ratio means it is it is basically glued uh, glued in a in this the way that it was designed right however there's also functions to take off that aspect ratio mm -hmm. so you can distort them a little bit right. and, and make them bigger one side one length ways or width ways mm -hmm. whichever you want well the way the best way i think to start uh, by the way so what you'll need is either a, a scan and cut uh, a uh, cricket or a silhouette. Thank you. One of those. But what and a silver bullet. Oh, that's Gary. That's what Gary's got. For that we oh. know as Gary were talking to us yesterday. Gary's been brilliant. I've been looking at all the he's posts on Facebook. Isn't he? Thank you, and uh, Kaz as well. Yes, his yes. sister. Yeah. yeah, absolutely wonderful. So you see all these images on here because I I didn't understand this all yesterday, and mm -hmm. we were going through it, and now I'm like, wow, actually this blows your mind what you can do. It does. So you've got all these lovely images on here which then you can scale up from really diddy to large and even larger. Even larger, yes. I've only gone up to 15 centimetres, which on a 12 by 12, that would be a quarter. Right. So it can go up. And, it can, and, and not just, I've only done these in centimetre increments, but you mm -hmm. can do them in half centimetres. If you're an inch girl, you can convert your machine to inches and working eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, yep. half an inch. It, it, you will all know your own electronic cutting machine and you'll you'll know what you can do with it. Now that's quite a basic shape, uh, but then you can go to this. So again, you can see the scale of it. I don't think that's quite basic, is it? Mm -hmm. It's not a basic shape, that's no. a beautiful shape because it's got all yeah. these bits that cut out. But if I can point from there to there, right. 
the shapes are all the same. They've just yeah. uh, scaled up beautifully. You're not losing no. any of the image Which by going wonderful. bigger, by going smaller. Now, just to point out, I don't think this image is in the one day special, but it was just to, it was just to point out sort of, you know, what we're saying about the scale. So these are the images in the one day special. You've got 160 images in total. They'll come to you in these boxes, and this is your... Uh, USB with your SVGs on. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Work um, out about 37 pence per file. Right. That's really good. So let's go through again these lovely boards. We'll do this quite quick. Uh, so you've got, you're going to get your shape. So imagine you can scale up, scale down with these. Nice mm -hmm. basic shape. One on the back, on there, one. And there. I was trying to save paper, but then That's I gave it. That's all right. Away. That's all right. Like so. And then, which ones are these? Karen? This one's your decorative. Decorative. We put them into. I'll take that one from you. Thank you. Ooh. And so these are actually Karen's favourites. We've got others in a pick and mix, um, but Karen's like, is, is it because these you think are going to be your the most go to, the right. most useful ones? I can make stencils out of these. I can do uh, journaling papers, front journaling pages. I can uh, make that. That's oh, on there. That, yeah. And it goes down to to there wow. to that size. That's and incredible. that just that's the big the size that fits my mat on my machine. Sure. Uh, I clever. can decorate anything that I want. I can make cards. Yeah. I can make albums. I can make stencils. Uh, home decor and Absolutely. these were the ones and I could also with the sentiments on the next one the sentiments I've right. always got a sentiment of some sort or other Brilliant. that I can use and I can make them smaller bigger ones I can cut them out of white cut them out of colored paper cut mm. them out as we've seen on the one o'clock show different materials as long as your machine does it yeah and this one on the back there oh is there as well see the difference happy birthday we've actually got a sample underneath all this haven't we there we it have is. yeah yeah so this is the so sort of the thing so I've just done it on to two, two black and white mm -hmm. and just a bit of matte and layering. Yep. Now, the cutting out, I put the file onto my uh, to my machine, cut it out, yep. but that card took me about two minutes to put together. Brilliant. And last but not least, we've got the uh, foliage. Look at that. Oh, upside down. Flowers you even did a wheelbarrow earlier, didn't you? I've done a, wheel, I've done yeah. a, wheel, a, a, a silver wheel, wheelbarrow for... Yeah. Uh, Janice. Janice. <laughs> there we go. It's getting late. I know. Uh, now, it's not just the um, USP, uh, USBs that you're getting, all four of those, but you've also got the premium quality glitter pad. Um, you're getting 24 sheets, I believe. You are. Six colours, four of each. And just show how an intricate one. That's from Nature, but that's being cut out on, on the glitter pad, so that shows how it cuts out. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Now, you were saying last night, what does, it, what does one of these retail for? 19.99. Right. So if you think about that, it's the re recommended retail price, 19.99 each. You're getting all four, and you're getting the glitter card. Then look at the price on screen. Look at that. So it's 62 pounds and 95 pence. And of course, you can spread the cost on Flexi by two payments of 31 pounds and 48 pence. 374752. Lovely. And then moving on, we have also got. Um, the uh, pick and mix on here. Yes, which also includes the four that we've done there. They're my favourite four that I would think would be most useful. They are included in the pick and mix. So there's 18 cartridges, yep. and you pick any two for 28.98, wow. saving 11 pounds. 11, isn't that really yeah. good? Look at that. If you reflect it back to the one day special for yep. every two that you get in, you're saving 11. Right. And that's where you get the better value. The, yeah, the better that's how value. it sort of carries that's over. That's how it carries over. Yeah, so yeah. just to point that out, because then you get a really good deal on the one day mm -hmm. special too. Marvellous. Would you like to have a quick run through the, yes. the boards? What I've done is I've printed these out. Yep. Are we all right Yeah, there? we're just coming to you. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> so this one is your nature. I'm not going to delve through them. Uh, if anybody particularly wants something cutting out, I can... I can cut it out. Yep. It may take. I may not be able to do it through time restraints. That's just upside down. Oops. Here we go. <laughs> That's the. These are ever. This is the flowers and foliage. Is that better? Sorry. Yeah. There you go. That's your shapes. That's your sentiments. They're the ones from the one day special, and we've oh, got right. the decorative from the one day special. Yeah. 
And then we have, we're doing tipsy turvy all I know, all night. he's had their mitts on these. Yeah, we've got the animals, mm -hmm. and you've even got elephants, giraffes, right. even a clockwork mouse. Clockwork mouse, nice. And we've got a baby and, uh, baby and child, the mm -hmm. baby one. We've got the celebrations. This one is your fantasy. Oh, so this. you've even got mermaids, right. unicorns, uh, superheroes, different things in that one. Okay. Uh, this is your love and marriage. Mm -hmm. Any particular favourites on there? Any particular favourites? Yeah. I actually like that one oh, for an engagement yeah, card. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. When somebody says I do. Not that they do it like that these days, <laughs> do they? This is your sports. Yeah. That's the particular one that I like there. Yeah. I've got a friend who's a male ballet dancer. Right. And I could not, for the love of money, have I been able to find anything. See, that's the thing. Yeah. And if I do cut that out in white, yeah. uh, cut it out on super smooth, the one that we've got, I can colour that with my pro markers and right. make that realistic. Lovely. So remember, it's not just about a silhouette shape. If you cut okay. it on the right cardstock, yeah. you can colour them in and make them realistic. Marvellous. Now, the Christmas ones are all different. Mm -hmm. That one is your traditional Christmas. Yeah. This one is... Gosh, we've got so many. To... Yeah, Christmas sentiments. Yes. Yeah. This one is decorative Christmases. Okay. We've got... Create a craft a card. Right. So that's only got ten files on, but the very big files. Okay. And what you see there is the card that you can make from those. Lovely. Um, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. <laughs> this one is your Christmas craft a card. Right. And then we and that's got ten ten files on, but you can make a card from it. And then this has got ten files with your alphabets. Yeah. Lovely. And you've got eight alphabets and two lots of numbers. So such a lot. You choose any two. For twenty eight ninety eight, uh, that's an eleven pound saving. Remember that eleven pound saving. If you're going for the one day special, carries over. Yeah. So then you get a really good deal on the one day special too. Um, so with this item number though, it's zero six six three zero six. Uh, now we do have a lovely finished sample video just to show you what sort of things you can be making when you get these files. Here we go. So, before, just as we were walking around the counter, I did this with uh, yeah. Janice earlier on, but there you go, you are a princess. <laughs> she said she had a little, oh. she said she had a little present for me. I was like, what, what? She said, I can't tell you, it's a surprise. Indeed I am. I thank you very much. That's not your, that's not your present, that's not your present. That's not my present. No, oh, no. Oh. I set something else off putting. Oh, okay. And what I wanted to show is, yeah. um, how once you've got the files and you've got them onto your machine how you can manipulate them and do different things right. now oh. i did that i did get a nice message from uh, gary telling me how not to rip tear okay when you've got a, a really sticky mat instead of doing what i'm doing and pulling it off from the front okay pull it off from the back and you've got less chance of tearing your card ah. so thanks ever so much for that gary right and then what we're going to do, I, you're in earnest here, aren't you? I know. Yeah. Just while you're doing that, you uh, carry let me on. mention the rainbow card. There you go. You can see all of those sheets. £9.99, £20 off here. That's really good. 50 sheets for 300 GSM, 827732. Then another quick mention of our happy hour, just while Karen's doing her thing. Very busy for the happy hour deal. Well, it is a good deal. £8 off. Just thirteen pounds and ninety-eight pence, and we're already ten percent of the stock gone. Six one seven one six eight, and then we've also got our deal of the day. All pink frog here. Look at all of that. 
I'm, I'm really curious to see what Karen's doing. I'm trying to do it as neat as I can oh, without you. rushing. Uh, now, if you rip this, it has got a black core, so it'll still be black on the inside. You've got a £9 saving. It's 10 839 915 Boom. What are you up to? I'll show you in a minute. I can't look. I'm crafting. I'm let's, crafting, Alex. All right, I'll tell you what. Let right. me talk about the Cricut machine Are you ready? Quick. Oh, all right. Oh, okay, we're ready. Yay! Thank <laughs> you. <go. laughs> Oh, she's made this for me. Thank you. Look at that. She said, this is the present. Oh, bless you. And you've popped it together because I really like this cardstock. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you suggest for that one. So what I've actually done on that one is that's from the alphabet. Yeah. Gives you 26 letters. Yeah. I've uh, got rid of all the others off, off the, the mat. I've mm -hmm. kept the A, L, E, X. I've put them up uh, next to each other. Right. Brought them in close together, welded them. Yeah. Then I've copied it. Right. And flipped it over and then welded what they call weld at the top. So what it does, it brings your two shapes together mm -hmm. and stops it cutting twice. It welds it. it it sort of erases the cutting line right? and then folded it over and you've now got something for your table. Yay, I'm totally going to put this on my desk. Thank <laughs> you. So this is the sort of thing you can be doing um, with your fantastic files uh, that Pink Frog have bought. A quick mention then of this, seeing that as we've got our lovely cardstock here. And then we'll, and then we'll have a look at these USBs, eh? Yep. Okay, look at that. Oh, I love this speciality card. Uh, assorted mirror and holographic card. 80 sheets in total, 14.99. You've got 37 pounds off. What's the GSM, did you say? 300, is it? You know, it's Karen. mixed GSM, oh, but mixtures. it is okay. very, very heavy. Oh, yeah. If um, I'll do what I did to Janice Go earlier on, on. I'm going to take what? one from you. Yeah. And you know when you do the flake? And they hold it and go flick like that. Yeah. So I got it right at this end and I went flick. Whoa, that's solid, isn't and it? And you can feel the solid. But Gosh. yeah, that's as... I, I cannot tell you the GSM. We don't know the actual GSM, but it's not. It's an holographic. Yeah. It's coated. It's got more than one layer onto it. So mm. it'll have two layers because it'll have a silver underneath there. It'll have a blue. And then it's got a cardboard backing as well. Marvellous. Mm. Right, one day special time. Let's have a look at some of these shapes. So where do we start? What, you know, if we get this home, uh, we've got our either cricket, uh, so rubber, I'll, all of those. I'll do it. I'll do it on the on the cricket okay. and show you what what I've done there. So let me get rid of that one and delete delete that. So the cricket is is. Uh, I've, uh, with the cricket, mm. you'll put the USB in, yep. and you will need internet because with with it, it tells you to upload. I'm just going to get the mouse, okay. and you can see right down in the bottom left where I'm going up and down. That's the upload button. Right. You'll need the internet to upload it. So if I click on, uh, I haven't got one in. I'm just going to take one out and put you one in. Yeah. Okay, not a problem. So let's get an animals one. And I don't know what we're going to get, and I will show you it. So I'm going to click on un upload. Right. And here, at the under, down here, you can see what I've already uploaded. Mm -hmm. And that remains into what you call the Cricut Design Space. Yeah. Which means you can work offline with it, and you can save your pro projects. Mm -hmm. However, upload an image, it will tell me to drag and, drag and drop a file here. I'm going to go into there and then I'm going to click onto my SVG. And you can see here there are 40. I don't yeah. know which one I'm going to get. If I may just get the animals here. And you see, this is why we're running by the seat ah. of our pants because what we're doing, I haven't, we haven't, it's not a demo that I've. Uh, put together so that I can just pick things up. Okay. I'm showing you how I would do it and use it at home. Yeah, sure. So, uh, can't find the animals yet. Fantasy. Oh. Got it there. Got it, it was already open. <laughs> so, on my files, you, I can see here, mm -hmm. I've got 40, 40 uh, files and I know that what I can op open up onto them. Right. So, we've already cut the the lion out, which is number 16. Amazing. Would you like me to cut that one again or would you like, shall I cut the birds out? Oh, Something yeah. a bit Why don't quicker. We do the birds? Yeah. Something a bit a, a bit quicker because when with the electronic file, mm. the more intricate of the file, the longer it takes right. for the machine to cut it out and make sure that it goes right. How so, we're going to do number those. 29. How long would it take to cut that one? 
Yeah. Is that a more of a... Oh, so I want to show you. 19. Well, I'm just we'll curious. Do it. We'll do it because we we are lucky that we've got two machines. Fab. Dinosaur head. So we've got a dinosaur head there. Yeah. And there we go. That's right. what's going to put on there. So if I... You would normally name it, but I'm just going to put it down as number 19. That's fine. And save it. So this one you're doing on the Cricut, is that right? This is the one I'm doing on the Cricut. So now I've downloaded that, mm. I don't need that USB anymore. Oh. I can now connect the, the laptop up to the machine. Okay. So I'm going to go into that, mm -hmm. and I've highlighted it, and it's gone green. Can you see around the outer... Out, ooh, around the outer edge? It's gone green. I see. So what are you going to do, the flowers on the other machine? I will... Oh, not the flowers, the birds. Uh... I'll do I'll do the birds on the other machine, yeah. yeah. I will take that and do the birds if you just remember what number it is okay. and watch it's come up. Right. So this file file size is is two point nine five four inches, nearly three inches by yep. two and a fifth inch. Okay. But we want it a bit bigger than that, don't we? Mm. And it's quite a nice so I'm going to put in the super smooth. Oh right. Okay. So you because can... the super smooth is on an A4, mm -hmm. I've got not got to make it bigger than an A4 size on my Makes mat. Sense. Yeah. And if I make that, oh, so to 10 inches, we know it's 11 mm -hmm. by eight and a half, don't we? Uh, uh, an A4. Right. So I've got it down to just under. Um, see my. There, it's round about seven. Mm -hmm. We've got that right nice size. Lovely. I'm going to pinch some of that. Yes, you one can. One sheet of that, if I may. Now, if you do want the one of the, the animal images, um, it's in the pick and mix of your SGB files, and that's on the screen. Eleven pound saving, twenty eight ninety eight zero six six three zero six. And then I'm going to make sure it's really fastened down. Onto my mat. Okay. The worst, oh, the worst mm -hmm. thing that can happen is that it comes off while it's cutting. Right. And I want to make sure that you've got a nice sticky mat to do it. Okay. So I'm nearly ready for popping that one in. Sure. I'm going to pop that one in and up in the top right hand corner. Yeah. Near where the green is, just under that clock, that 39 clock. I'll move it over. There you go. It says make it. And this is bringing the screen up and telling me what how it's going to cut onto my mat. Right. You can see the mat underneath with inch increments. Yeah. I'm going to click continue. This is where I now decide what I'm going to, what I am going to cut it, what kind of material. Now it's a super smooth. Mm -hmm. It's a 300 gram. I don't want to make a mistake and not cut it properly. So okay. I'm going down to what we call light chipboard. Right. It doesn't do. There, there isn't on, on the Cricut. I've not found. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying there isn't one, okay. but I've not found one that says 300 gram. I've found one right. that says 270. Yeah. And I have tried cutting super smooth on that but I found it didn't cut it okay. because it wouldn't the blade wasn't going in deep Lovely. enough but that is trial and error with oh I've cancelled it oh, let's have a look now here we go we'll put that one in all right now I'm going to put that one so I've loaded that one in and it's now telling me to press the go button okay while you're actually working with the cricket we do have the cricket bundle on the show it's the um, cricket maker ultimate uh, cutting machine we have a big bundle, three hundred and seventy-nine ninety-nine. Now, obviously, realise it's a considered purchase, but once people have got it, people think, "Oh my gosh, why didn't I get it sooner?" Three payments of one hundred and twenty-six sixty-six. So that is really good that you can spread the cost three ways. Um, now, a lot of people use this for. Uh, you get everything that you need as well to get started there. Um, a lot of people say that it ends up becoming a little business for them. How nice! So you can get your return back. Zero nine one six four one is your item number. All right, we're looking at the thirteenth of February um, before it gets dispatched. But so many people love their cricket machine. Right, so the one's going in the cricket machine. So the same USB that I've just. Downloaded onto there. Yeah, I'm putting into my other machine. Okay. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go home, get rid of all that. What I've done, I'm going to click on retrieve data, and on this machine, mm -hmm. it'll tell me I can take the data from my machine. That's great. From the internet, from a, 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 the, the Wi-Fi internet, or a wired internet right or from the the the, the usb i'm taking it from the usb mm -hmm. and what number was the bird oh the bird 29 or do you want it do you want another one of these 19s cutting out um 
Yeah, oh, another can dinosaur. We a, can we do a different image? Is a that, different is image. That, oh, number is the 19. Bird quite quick? Yeah, the bird oh, is go. quite quick. So this tells me all the numbers onto it, and all I'm going to do is. Oh, wait, is, wait, wait. Did you. It's 29, it is. Is it 29? 29. 19 is the, yeah. the one that we're doing now, isn't yeah. it? So we're just looking for 29. And there it is. So that's my number 29. It's telling me there's an SVG there, 29. I'm clicking OK. So it's telling me that that is what's going to go onto my map. I'll click OK. You see how tiny it is? Yeah. So all I'm going to do is select it and edit it, move it down a little bit. Uh -huh. I'm going to keep editing it, and everybody who's got one of these machines will know how to, yeah. to work it. I don't want people to think that I'm showing them how to work mm -hmm. your machines. I'm just showing you the capabilities. So we're going to go, we, we'll, we'll go about 270 because I want it to fit on the A4. We've got the black there, haven't we? Yes. And I'm going to click OK and OK again and OK again. Right. And OK. So now all I need to do now right. is I've fitted that onto my uh, what is equivalent to my map. Yep. All I'm going to do is load my maps. Now this I've, I've been using this mat all day and it is losing its sticky a is bit. It a so bit? I'm going to be watching it if that's OK. I'm yeah, that's click fine. Click cut. Yeah. And start. OK. While you watch that, because you're using the deal of the day there, aren't you? I'm using the deal of the day, but I've got one hand pulling this one up. Oh, okay. So, the deal of the day, here it is. Uh, 10.99, saving nine pounds, uh, 839915. Oh, are you all right if I just show the glitter pad? The you show the glitter pad, and, and I'm going to get this off nice. That's all right, Ben, don't worry. This is Oops. also available on its own. Is it all right? It's just slipped. As I said, I didn't look at it. Oh, okay. You're going to pop that through I'm again. I'm going to put. I'm going to put a new one through. It's That's slipped, all right. but it's not the machine's I fault. I know. That's all right. There we go. Um, so, if you want this separately, not, yeah, this gives you a chance actually to keep an eye on it while I flick through this. Yes, it will. Uh, Nine ninety-nine. You get. Sorry, my love. Sorry, okay. Nine ninety-nine, uh, and your item number is eight seven five. 621. I really, really love this cardstock. It's gorgeous, isn't it? This one is dispatched from the 6th of February, if that's if you want it on its own. Lovely. But of course, it is in the one day special. You're getting the cardstock, the lovely glitter cardstock, and you have got Karen's favourites in this one. You've got your florals, your sentiments, your shapes, and the final one florals your sentiments your shapes and I can't remember what? decorative thanking you thanking you okay just keep hold of that one um, so two payments of 31 pounds and I think it was 48 pence three seven four seven five two is your item number great stuff so keep your eye on it Karen. I've keep got my eye hand on, on that one <laughs> so that is the what ah. we've got on there I like the dinosaur head. And you can start taking that off if you want. I've ne never done this before. You've is never it done easy? this before. It's quite easy. It's, it's very literally. sticky. Feel how sticky it is. Okay. And you just get it underneath. Yep. And start lifting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So can it peel off now? Uh, you need to keep lifting it because it's very, very sticky. Okay. So then, um, Gary said, if you now turn it upside down. Right. And you peel that off that from way. there, you've yep. got less chance. Okay. Of damaging it. Four. Don't be worried about folding this back. It's part of the machine. Yeah. Okay. It's part of it. Okay. Now, look, you're doing really well. Good. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, I've bent that a little Don't bit. Don't worry. But... Still new to you. Still new. There is your dinosaur smooth. head. Yay! So now you've done that on super smooth. Yeah. So that's in my um, Cricut now. Mm -hmm. So say I'll go in and I'll cut that again about three, four, five times. Mm -hmm. Then I'll glue on top of them. Yeah. Then I can throw mixed media at it. Yes, you because can. Because it's just super smooth, which right. will take anything. I can then make that look like a, a piece one. of chipboard. Amazing. You know when you get the, the, the chipboard, yeah. so the chipboard shapes? I can then do that with five pieces of card, four or five pieces of card. That's so clever, isn't it? Um, we've got other things that you can make here. So remember, these images are scalable. You could do this dinosaur head 
get in from all the way down to really tiny to really really large providing the the blade has enough mm -hmm. space on it yeah. one of one of the machines it has to have a three millimeter turn okay I'm not sure about the capabilities of the other machines sure. but it is the, the the smallness of it is do do not it is governed by which right. machine you've got and the blades that you are okay. using right here are our birds they're your birds when I went yeah. and here's your bird stencil this is a 290 black mm -hmm. which sorry did I make that's you a right, joke a little bit, yeah. but that's heavy cardstock yeah and that's cut out there the only reason that we had the mistake last time was I didn't hold it down this is losing its tack it is, yeah um, and I needed to just make sure it didn't didn't slip excellent don't, yep don't you worry deal of the day is here as we've mentioned it there we go uh 10.99 nine pound saving 50 sheets at 290 gsm 839915 is your item number good stuff um yeah i've got some samples here because then you start thinking about what sort of items you could be making don't forget as well some of the machines cut fabric don't they the most machines, most of your electron, electronic cutting machines will cut fabric. Yep. Uh, each one will give you different directions of what you need to put, what blade you need to use. Mm -hmm. I know the Cricut's got a, 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 a rotary blade. Yep. They've introduced the maker, put two, two blade housings on it and mm -hmm. you can get a rotary blade which is in there right. and that does it. But you have to, they, with the Cricut as well, mm -hmm. you also get what they call, do excuse me, bending down. That's all right. Oops, when I can lift it up, you get a special mat that is for fabric. Okay. And that's, that grips fabric oh, much better. Nice. Um, sometimes I would advise to put um, a backing onto it, like right. a, a, not a wadding, but a, a violin, what do you call it, interface, an iron-on interface. Yep. Everybody who soft crafts and does material will know exactly the capabilities of, of, of what to cut. Speaking of fabric, actually, there's a lovely picture sent in earlier from it's Sue. Did she, did she make this? We're using... She wow, used that from using an electronic, oh. el, di, ele, not electronic die cutting, an electronic cutting machine. So all those flowers those and everything. Those flowers, those leaves. Wow. And the butterflies. And when you think about it, she sized them up how she wants to. It's mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful. I, I would love that on my bed. But look at the leaves. Every single one yep. matches. So nobody can come and say, oh, this is unmade. Yep. That looks like it's been bought from a very, very expensive store yeah. where, where they do spend detail doing yeah. hand hand cutting and Lovely. stuff. So, yeah. so thank you, Sue. That was awesome that you sent that in. Lovely. Um, do you want to do another one? Yes. So what I will do, I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to get the shapes and I've, I've done, I've done a, I'm going to press home on here, that will take it off. I can take that out now, I don't need to use it on this one. I'm going to take the shapes okay. and I just want to show you something that uh, perhaps I've put, put together. Mm -hmm. So it's entirely up to you, I've put some journal pages together, right. do you just want me to cut them out and talk what I did? Right. Or do you want me to show you because that's not the machine? Uh, what? Are they, are they telling you in oh, their ear? They're telling me to, we'll go and do a recap, I think. Is that right? Right, okay, yes. And then I'll just cut them as you're doing the recap and yeah. talk through it. That's all right, Wonderful. here we go. Um, now we have got 100 sheets of 12 by 12. Uh, contents will vary. I've seen these actually, they're really nice. Um, you like, some has got, it looks like it's textured. Uh, some have got little animals on. It's just really sweet. And you, but have you seen the saving? Forty pounds off on this. It's just nine ninety nine. Nine one one seven six nine is your item number. Uh, we've also got an A three bumper pack. And um, this has got like terracottas um, and uh, beiges and things in, and black and white. It's fourteen pounds and forty nine pence. Thirty three pound fifty saving. Three five eight seven six six is your item number. Right, lovely and new to us here, new to Pink Frog as well. We've got, uh, as our one day special, we call them the Karen's favourites, but what you've got on these four different USBs, I always want to say USP, USBs, um, are SVGs, so that's scalable, uh, 
Back to graphics. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so you can see all of these lovely shapes. You've got the decorative. You're getting florals and flourishes and sentiments. So with this, this is the most basic one. You're going to be able to take these shapes or these sentiments or these, you know, any of those images and scale from small to large, which means you've got options. You've got scope on what you're going to make. Wonderful for batch making. Yes, if you have, I mean, if you were thinking about die sets, I don't want like 40 die sets or however many. I just want the one image that I can then enlarge or shrink down. Now, as well as your one day special, you're also getting this fabulous glitter cardstock. It's premium glitter cardstock. Um, and uh, you're getting 24 sheets six colors four of each but look these are the sorts of things then you can be making at home then you can make this as a really small diddy card uh, or you can make it a really big card not just for your card so that we're saying about fabric then you can put things onto fabric onto glass onto all sorts and scale it to the size that you need home decor uh, look, oh, this is really good, actually. You can make your own stencils from these images, which I think is fabulous. This is your Mylar, and it'll, yeah, you'll know what your machines can cut as well, but you'll be able to use these images. And you see, once you've bought this, they're yours. So it's not a subscription. You don't have to keep, you know, um, subscribing every month. It's a really good deal. £62.95 plus uh, two payments of 31.48. 374752 is your item number. Then we've got our pick and mix. Um, these have got an £11 saving on them. You say you, you're getting any two. And that £11 saving, just to understand, actually has been carried over into the one day special as well. Now you've got all sorts here fantasy. We've got wedding. Now look, batch making wedding invites. And again, you could turn this into a lovely little business, couldn't you? Got a bit of Christmas in there. You've got animals in there. You've got tags. Oh, lovely idea um, from um, our producer, Kim. She said about business cards. Um, there are more Christmassy ones there. Do you know what? I'm not actually Christmas out, believe it or not. Anyway, you might not be at home either. I know some of you like to make your items right from January. And then you've got like the your creator card type of files. There's loads to choose from. £11 off. You choose two that you like, £28.98, 066306. And then we've um, also got the mixed pastel cards. Ah, oh, look at these shades, really nice. You've got your pastel greens, pinks, lavenders, uh, oh, sunshine yellows in there. Very nice, aren't they lovely and spring-like? Remind me of Easter colors, which will be here before we know it. Hang on, we've got to have Valentine's Day first. Um, if you're getting these, you're getting five colours, ten sheets of each, and uh, it's 240 GSM. 195939 is your item number. Then we have got pick and mix on the luxury card pack. Oh, isn't it nice? You can go for some is glitter, some is mirror card. I have to say, I love, um, what do you call it, rose gold. I love all of those colours. Mm, Kim really likes the matte mirror. It, it, this one here, yeah, that's lovely. It's kind of like a frosting on that. Beautiful. You pick four packs and you'll get five sheets per pack. So that's 20 in total. 15 765797 is your item number. But look, aren't these beautiful? Uh, we've got red liner tape. Um, I, this is really good, actually, because you get a lot on each of these rolls. 120 metres in total, 1199 for all of these. Okay, I really like, I, I use red liner tape a lot actually. I do, I love my gift box making. That's my one of my favourite things to do. And you well, we've got it here. Your red liner tape, I love wrapping. Yeah. I think that's why I uh, started doing the bags, because I like wrapping. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the red liner tape's absolutely fantastic, but on each one of those, it's equivalent to five rolls, because, uh, six rolls, sorry, because it's got 30 metres onto it. Mm -hmm. It's not like the small ones that have only got five on, they've got 30. Yeah, so that is a lot for your money at 11.99. 031914.
Okay. Right, what, what are you doing now? I'm just rushing through one last coat that will take right. me a minute or so, and I just want to show you exactly what I've done while you've been talking. Mm, yeah. Nice. Okay. And then I'll just pop that through, and I'm just going to keep... Keep your fingers Keep on my it. fingers just on... Don't do this at all. No, that's you fair You would normally at home, you'd... you'd Restick your mat up. Okay. I, d I just haven't brought anything That's with right. me. So, out of the deal of the day, yeah, out of the that, super smooth, the super smooth yeah. it, and I've got another sheet on here okay. which is the pastel card. Pastel, lovely. And what I have done is let's get the shapes. Yeah, you pop those over there. So, from the shapes, right, okay, I have picked. shape yeah <laughs> right i've picked that shape that shape and is that all right I'm yeah that's checking. fine so far <laughs> well, if you hear me scream it's not so those three shapes right so they've gone on to i've took them and put them onto my mat take them from from the file and then i've resized them so i've got three there to cut out mm -hmm. however i wanted journal pages okay so i got the circle oh. and i made the circle smart small Ah, I see. And now, yep, we're okay. We're okay so far. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And like you start putting those together. How am I putting them together? They've got holes. You As would in... normally put the holes together, wouldn't you? Oh, okay. So you see your, yeah, yeah Els does the, the really different shaped dies. Yeah. I'm just showing you that you've got your, fasten them together. Okay. And you've got your own shaped. Oh, sorry that I've journal. done that. Very You'll just fasten them together and you've got your own shaped journal. So you just need little ring binders? You need little ring binders yeah. or you make the holes a bit smaller and just lace it through. That's clever. I've not, it, I've not measured it properly because I've just so rushed right. it together. Okay. There's what a good idea. Make your own journaling pages. That's just Great. for your shapes. Fabulous. Now, uh, we'll. One day specials just coming onto the screen. Right, we've got about 15 minutes, Karen. What should we cut? What should right. we do? What? Let's have a look. Let's okay. get rid of this. All right. So, what shall we cut? Uh, shall we cut something on the cricket? Yes, let's do that. And then. Shall we do it from the mirror? Why not? Yeah. Yeah, so that's showing how okay. heavy a cardstock that that one is. Can we do. Oh, can we do. Can we do. Uh, the fish? Is that, yeah, is that what we'll do one? the fish. Okay. So I'm going to take this out, finish this, yeah. and then I'll get the animals again. Sure. And we need to know that that's number 36. Right. Lovely. Yeah, like put this. that one in. Um, if you want your lovely rainbow mirror card, that is there for you. All of that, if you're a Freedom member, you're not paying your postage. £9.99, £20 saving. We've got to give it a wiggle, haven't we? Look at that. Eight two seven seven three two, lovely. It's like being a magpie. And, um, I am a magpie. Did you know they spent millions of pounds doing a research about magpies, and they have come to a conclusion after spending millions of pounds. Oh, don't tell me. It's not true. Oh. They don't like shiny things. They're, they're not attracted to shiny things. They just pick anything up. Oh. And it just happens that shiny catches their eye first. Yeah. And pick it up. It's not that they go for the shiny. Oh. I could have told them that for millions really? of pounds. Do you think you could? Um, now, as obviously you're loading, we're using the Cricut machine yep. for this demo. Um, let's give you the details. Like I said, so many people, uh, it is a little bit of an investment, but so many people, once they've got it, have gone, oh my gosh, I can make home decor. I can make a clothes range. I can do a giant fish. Yes, why not? With Miracard. There's all sorts that you can do. Um, it is a, a wonderful bundle because you don't just get the machine itself. Uh, you're also getting your mats and your tools. It is um, 379.99. There you go. You can see you're getting your blades, your housing, your fine point pen, uh, fabric grip, light grip. Uh, those are those mats as well, and the machine itself. And we've got it on Flexi Buy, three payments, so three instalments. That makes it it's so much easier to purchase, doesn't it? When it's on Flexi Buy, 126.66. Now I'm just saying. If you've never bought from Hachanda, maybe your other half hasn't bought from Hachanda. 
you can use a special code. Right, here's the code. Do you know about this code? Yes, H-O-C-H-D-V-20. Have you got your other half to use this? I have got another half. <laughs> oh, That's the problem. You. Darn it. Right, but it means that you'll get, is it an extra 20% off? Yes, your first order. Well, that would be nice off your first instalment of the cricket, wouldn't it? It certainly would, wouldn't Indeed. it? If I got a partner, they would be get. They would. <laughs> <laughs> I probably have judge, lots, judge. lots of friends. Yeah. You know, if uh, for something big, right. that's really great, isn't it? Lovely. Yeah, it's a lot of money into it to be taken off it. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Oh, it's going nice and quick. Actually. So yeah, it's not too cents. bad there. It's lovely. I like this. I'm going to like this fish actually. He's going to be all in mirror. And are you doing another one on that one I'm as well? I'm going to have a look on this one and get, get onto this one. Going to ask for any questions because it's your last chance saloon now. You've only got uh, 15 minutes. Look, oh, we, I didn't know we could flash the clock. I have to be very careful how I say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do, that don't would be you? Very awkward. <laughs> And I'd be doing a lot of um, apologising. <laughs> I actually like watching it, how it cuts out. It's quite fascinating. It's but it cuts things out so quickly and precisely. It's lovely. It does. Right. So I'm going to use some of the pastel card. I Ooh, know I keep popping card. down here. It's just That's that I've right. got cardstock all over the place. Yep. So uh, I took some. What I did do is save some butterflies onto my uh, from the nature one okay onto this machine as as i have explained you can you can save right images and i've there's three three going to be cut out two are one size and one is a uh, another size and i'm <gasps> just running through this can i can i can i give you a an image yeah could you do number 12 is he all right? I will do him. Yes, we'll get we'll get this one off, and then we'll do him. Yeah. Cool. Yes, yes. I like this. This is how much fun you can I'm have with it. I'm happy extras. Did you know? Do you want a hand? Don't clap. Oh, <laughs> don't clap. Shall I start getting? So this if off? you want to turn that up, take the outer edge out. Where's one the off. doobie gone? The doobie's there. Okay. Take the outer edge off. Yeah. Don't want, don't worry. Just pull that outer edge that off. That one's all right. It's not it? going to matter if you tear that one. Okay. But we Lovely. don't want you to tear the other one. No. This is cool. But like I said... Yourself, uh, yourself at home wouldn't wouldn't tear because you'd be able to cut something out of that. Right. And then this one, if we get... Oh, you can get him up. Oh, nice and easy. Up. Yeah. So, you know, with our images that we get in the One Day Special and the Pick and Mix, are, are we all right to sort of make things to sell? Make things to sell. Lovely. Uh, personally, what I would do is I'd make... Cut the shapes out and put them in little bags and sell them in bag in in shapes. Right, bags that's okay. Yeah, because you're buying the the file. Right, amazing. You are buying that file. Um, oh gosh, it that does look so cool because of it. He's in that um, rainbow card. It's koi carp. Koi carp. <laughs> oh, what was that? Wind chimes. So oh. we've got that cut out that way. Yes. Using the capabilities of the the your machine mm -hmm. and the image, mm -hmm. we could flip that, yep. cut it out, so it cut out that way on your mirror card. So you can do that with the SGV files? Yes, you can Amazing. flip it yep. and then cut out the other side and put it together. Would you want me to try that? Let's do it. Let's do that. Yes. This is really fun. I'm going to run out of energy, though, by this evening. Because we have got the same same file. We've yep. kept it the same. That's still all right? You that's keep fine. It? That's, that's going to be all right. OK. So... We're going to cancel that okay. because we've already done it. Right. I've unloaded. I said I didn't unload the map. Okay. So it tells you every step of the way when yep. you do anything anything wrong. So we're going to cancel and it will bring it back up on the mat. Should do. Oh, let's just dismiss you. Okay. Okay. Uh... It's very easy to do. Cancel yeah, the cut. Yeah, yeah right. cancelling that cut. Mm -hmm. It's going to bring it back up on the mat. Right. We're going to press cancel on there because I want to go back. So I've got this. Yep. I'm going to... Oh, right. So, sorry, are you on there? Yep. And you go to the top. Right. I'm going to click on there so I've highlighted it. Yeah. And then right to the top, just above that top fin. Yeah. Can you see the, 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 the arrow? I'm going to click on flip. And I'm going to flip it horizontal that way, aren't I? Uh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So let me just double check. Yeah, because he, he should work. 
Right, because you're gonna gonna cut it out that way, and that's like right sides together. Yeah, yeah. Should be, should be. Should we be. We flipped him. We flipped him the yeah. right way. Excellent. Oh. But this is your images, what yeah. you can do with them. So only introducing the images, it's not just something that you're going to cut out once. Right. When you get these out, you're going to start playing. Yeah. You're going to start doing what I, I did. Mm -hmm. I spent so much time doing the boards, mm -hmm. I ran out of ideas. Right. Come here today, I've had yourself, I've had Janice, I've had Leone. Yeah. Giving me ideas, and it's like, oh, yeah, oh, I know. Oh, I can do Love this. It. Oh, I've remembered I can do that. Oh, yeah. I can do this. And I'm getting so mm -hmm. giddy and excited. And we're going to load it. Yeah. And um, now, remember, in the one day special, you get 160 files plus your uh, wonderful uh, glitter card. 160 files. Look at all that. You, so these are Karen's favourites. You're going to get the shapes, the florals and flourishes, the sentiments, and the decorative. Plus that premium quality card stock, uh, two payments of 3148, 374, 752. And because you've bought the files, I mean, where do you normally hear, yes, you can sell the shapes just in a bag? You see, you don't. No, but you've, you've got. But, but you've bought. You've bought the file. file. Okay. You've bought the file. That's great. You are you. That file then belongs to you. Right. You cannot copy a USB. No. And 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 pass it on mm -hmm. because that's against copyright. Yes. But when you've purchased a file, mm -hmm. if you purchase a pack of paper, you can put them together. Okay. You are purchasing something that you are making with. Right. Good. Because so I just want to make sure we're yeah. all legal and everything. But yeah. 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 Okay. We're just waiting for that one. Okay. It's all good. Now, we've only got half. A butterfly because I only used a, an A4 sheet. Oh, don't if worry. If I've done a 12 by 12, yeah, but it's missing its bottom. Don't worry, it doesn't matter. Don't worry. I was just getting and too excited on what we could cut out. With I know, it. It's, no. it's like, come on, hurry up, hurry no. up. There we go. Mm -hmm. This one's not as sticky, so we're going to be able to take this off. Ah, yeah. Oh, so you've got big and small. You've got. I've done big and small. Right. And bear in mind, I'm just whacking the whacking it off. So there you go. Now, can you see? I've not cut that right. I put different paper on, oh, okay. and it's not quite cut that. However, that one has. That's that right. one has. So obviously, I've not pressed my paper down enough at the bottom. Okay. But I have there. Don't worry. All is good. But this, you will find this, and this happens with lots of mm -hmm. lots of machines when you do it. But you, it's like you're having a I play, make mistakes. don't you? I, we all make mistakes. Oh, I'm not. I'm that not. One's cut fine. Yeah. Absolutely fine. There you go. Yeah. And then this one, you could you could wiggle it out, but sometimes you cut a die out that doesn't cut. All it is is finding the right pressure, isn't it? Finding it's the right card stock, you know, on your and the mats. For your the mats yeah. got my mats got a little okay. bit. Okay. So what we call old <laughs> old right and you see the sticky this is really sticky yeah and then um, we're gonna let's, let's see if this is gonna work i'm going on with my dang ugly and shame if this doesn't work you know because i'm sure it will okay yes <sighs> no yeah <laughs> So, I flipped it the right way. Double sided now. Again, you know, if you were cutting with your scissors or if you've got dies, maybe, you know, you, you, you can't end up, reverse ended up, them round. No, that's the thing. If you reverse so, the die mm, round, yeah. you, so you've got a die here yeah. and you would put a die on and you normally cut with the best, best side right. upwards into the die. Okay. So then when you want to reverse it, you are going to cut there and that gets crushed in the machine. Ah, uh, I see. It gets crushed because yep. you're having to cut one from one side and one from the other. Right. Whereas that, there's no crushing of, and especially with mirror, Lovely. there's no crushing because it's cut them out separately, but you flipped it. Marvellous. So have you seen how many fabulous things that have been cut with these files? These files are yours. You've got them. You don't have to keep uh, resubscribing. Um, so it's a really lovely deal. We've got pick and mix at the moment on the screen. Um, the, it, interesting. Guess what's the most popular option? Animals. No. Go on. Christmas. Never. <laughs> Prepared wow. already. That's and what I I've said. not cut a Christmas thing out, have I? Have, what? have we got time? I Next will. time? Uh, no, I think we, we, we will find something. In four and a, we've only got four and a half minutes. Oh, we've loads of time. Have we? Okay. We'll do a Christmas sentiment, shall okay. we? And what we'll do is we'll put it onto the cricket because okay. the mat's much better on the cricket right now. And we'll Ooh, come out well, of this. Um, if you our, want to. Uh, our producer, is it this one? 
This one, you should, can we do it in this Certainly. one? Okay. Certainly. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to save that fish the other way around. Okay. Uh, fish. While you're looking, uh, look, six minutes remaining. Well, six minutes and 55 seconds. Um, uh, for you to get your one day special remember they carry the saving from the pick and mix is carried over and then you've got that extra five pound saving you're getting the four usb files with the no four usb sticks with 40 files on each one so you've got 160 in total ah there's your decorative so we've got christmas ah there's your shapes sentiments florals and foliage and you've, oh, well, of course, got your premium Shh. glitter pad. £62.95, uh, and it's on FlexiBuy, but this is your last chance to get it at this price. Two payments of £31.48, 374752. Happy hour deal, just while Karen's setting herself up. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll do that one. Oh, yes, that's a nice, oh. okay, that's a nice easy one. It's a nice quick one. I don't Lovely. want it to, to be too quick. Okay, £13.98. Yeah. This is going back up in five minutes' time. Well, five minutes and a few seconds. You've got £8 pounds off, 617168. 160 sheets in total, 300 GSM. Okay. And now we're going to put this on to the mat. We've got let. We've got two and a half minutes. We've got plenty of time. I love. I love your positivity. Of course. Of course. I'm going to pop that onto there. If you want to just rub that down a little bit and make sure it sticks for me. Okay. And I'm just going to uh, make this a little bit larger. So we're doing it three before, and then we're going to make it. Here right. we go. Is it going to happen in time? It's going it? to happen. Okay. We're going to press continue. It's going to then ask me what I'm going to put, what I'm going to cut. Five minutes. Oh, loads of time. No, no, we haven't. Oh, it's got to connect. Two minutes. <laughs> Five minutes. We've got two minutes. Yeah. It does help if you connect the machine. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Set material. Okay. Here we go. Browse all material. Like chipboard. Bump. Lovely. Bump. Just showing you how quick I can do it. Press that in. Okay. And it's only, it's not a, a delicate, intricate one. No, that's fine. It's just going to say joy and onto the, the love art that one. We're going to be down to the wire here. We're here going we to go. be down to the wire. We might be, we might be ripping it off like a blaster. A minute and a half. So we've got 10 minutes, 10 percent. All right. Okay. Now Come you, on. Your pick and mix is on the screen. You've got that 11 pound saving. But then um, you can see the clock. That's. Uh, it's flashing. This is your last chance, as I said, to get your one day special Karen's favourites and also that premium uh, cardstock of the, uh, I was going to say of the paper pad, you know what I'm saying. Premium glitter. Thank pad. you. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, long day. We're on sixty uh, percent. Oh, lovely! How long we got? We've got fifty seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> you love me, really? <laughs> this is going to be right down to the wire. I love shows like this. The tension, the tension. It could be, a, it could be actually. A, a t you could make a whole TV show out of this. Out the of tension. all the bloopers that I've done no, today. No, not the bloopers. <laughs> uh, yes. There we go. All and right. all we're going to do is Boom. just. Pull it off. Yay. Take out the O. Don't forget. Done that. it. There you go. <laughs> In the red. Well done, Karen. That is fabulous. The card is at the bottom of the screen if you want it. This lovely holographic. And, of course, you've got your pick and mix on the side. Thank you, Karen. Wonderful. Thank you. We've had fun. We have had lots of fun. When are you next in, do you know? Uh, 24th of February. 24th don't of February. Don't know Feb. what times, but we're in then. We're in then. Lovely. Uh, right. More coming up after this short break. Thank you. up next oh right we have got stackable solutions one day special with Catherine and Sam then Gina B Silkworks and then oh spot of gin tasting don't mind if I do hi I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. 
We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stand. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hello, good evening. Yes, it's six o'clock, so it means the launch of another one day special. Pleased to introduce to you, of course, Sam from Deflect Hill. How are you, Sam? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm very well, thank you. Looking forward to this, actually. Good. Me too. Yes, the last time I saw Deflect Hill, I had a, a happy hour show on my own, yeah. so it's nice to have company tonight <laughs> because you can tell us exactly all about Hopefully everything. I can. Yes, I'm sure you can. <laughs> You've had lots of practice now. Uh, now then, we all need storage for many different reasons. It's not just about craft, it's all those other things as well our tool sheds, you know, our our cleaning products uh, but this is something very very special it's a very clever concept isn't it yeah well I think you know as we look at the one day special here the stack of the caddies I think one of the great features about this product is the fact you can lock and stack them together so we're showing you four here so that's all one fixed unit at the moment and if you just wanted to take the top layer off you mentioned about you may use it in the garage or in um, the garden shed you could yeah. just take that one layer with you but that's what makes this storage really unique, is the fact that you can break it down layer by layer. All the canisters are clear so you can easily see what's inside and locate the item that you need. And with the wheelbase as well, um, just helps manoeuvring it around a lot easier as well. It certainly does. And I love how everything fits together. Even if I can just undo this and just show something. So I remember this from the earlier show. The shaping at the bottom of the canisters sits perfectly into the lids of the... The layer underneath. Yes, so not does. only have you got the locking system, everything, you know, it, it is already kind of locked in there, isn't yeah, it? The reason so we've done that, that is, is just to make it very user friendly. So when we design products um, and we make all this product, it was designed in house, we produce it in house yeah. as well. We try and make it as user friendly and as easy to use, you know, it, it, it shouldn't be complex. It is storage after all. And the fact that the little, the way that we've designed the lids basically enable you to locate the layer on top it just sits nice and easy as you just demonstrated it certainly does and it's a great price because this is the one day special of course you are saving 13 pounds today what are we getting we're getting the four sort and storage caddies and you are getting the wheelbase as well so as it is you know that's a lovely size for maneuvering around but you can add more on top of there yeah. if you want but for the one day special that's where you're saving is 13 pounds 56 pounds and 95 pence is today's price but you can take this over flexi buy as well two payments of 28 pounds and 48 pence item numbers there on the screen for you 187719. 
Now, we have got more, of course, for you. We've got two more storage caddies here, uh, Sam. So, of course, these could then go on top of the one-day special if we wanted yeah. to use them in that way. Exactly. So, we have the, um, the stack of two. So, as you can see, you're getting two of them. They lock together the same way. And as you just mentioned, because of the way we've designed the product, you could quite easily locate these two on the top of this stack or the bottom of this stack. They don't have to go back in the same layer, if that makes yep. sense. You I can totally kind of mi can mix yes. them up. Yep. So we're also doing um, you know, the bundle of two here as well. So if you, know, if if you want to add to an existing stack that you've mm. bought, um, you can take this two there. Or if you want to get the six, you know, it'll all work together as well. And if we just sit those on the top. Okay. Now, is there a recommended height that you would say go to? I know everybody sort of differs in height, but just for manoeuvrability and uh, the weight of something, obviously yeah. it depends what you're putting in there as well. Would you recommend a certain height? Would you say don't go above a certain layer? Well, I think as long as these are all locked in, which they are, if you were to look at six, six is a great height for kind of next to your workstation. Yeah. It's a, you know just below waist height for me and a great height for you on, from a that waist height point. That is actually a perfect height for me. I might just wander off with this because <laughs> I haven't got one yet. <laughs> <laughs> now they, they are fabulous actually and if I can just talk about the wheels there as well because you have got 360 degree yes, turn on there haven't you as are. well and just with the wheels as well you don't you don't have to keep the wheelbase attached to so say that you wanted to unclip the four off you can do that and then you can store away the yep. wheelbase and the way that we've designed this so these gray levers actually fold flat now all that does it just reduces the chance of you potentially snapping them off when it's yep. not in use okay totally get that wonderful so everything's been thought about so the one day special we we have seen it already we've got the wheelbase that's where you're going to get the wheelbase with the four caddies we've also got the option of the two caddies if you want to go for those separately perhaps you've already got some part of the collection maybe you've got the wheelbase already maybe you just want to add to your your tower of uh, caddies there it's entirely up to you if you buy for the first time and you can afford to go for the extra two good time to do that if you are going to be moving things around maybe to a workshop now the wheelbase is also available on its own so maybe you've been buying the caddies previously but you haven't got the wheelbase so we can bring you the details for the wheelbase individually as well or perhaps you want to split those caddies and have two of them many of us do do different crafts so maybe you want one for your sewing one for your general crafting maybe you do want one for the tool shed maybe you want one for your craft room it's entirely up to you 9.99 is the price for the wheel caddy base on its own 150075 is the item number now we do have more for you as well we've got another storage caddy available as well haven't we Sam what we've we got we next have, so I'm wait and see which one it is that we're there we go so okay. we have lots of different <laughs> options with the caddy and um, want to make sure that we're showing you the right okay. one so we have the single layer um, caddy that you can see here then you also get one of the large storage containers and you also get the storage tray as well within that so you're getting the largest container that we offer now this does sit within the caddy it will sit within the one day special as well and you're also getting the project tray Lovely. as well that sits in now the benefit with this is you can keep the smaller beads or you know the the small um, wooden stamps yeah. that you can get will fit in there but you still have the benefit of having the large capacity space underneath when the tray is located Wonderful, that's very, very useful indeed, isn't it? Well, details on the screen for that particular option. £3 is the saving, £21.97 is the price, 954722. Now, we do have a similar option for you as well. We can offer you the storage with two of those large, those larger caddies there, those containers. So if you want to go for this one, we're going to bring the details up for you. There we are on the screen. You can see those there now. So you're going for the storage caddy and the two large caddy containers. You have got two storage trays there, one in each as well. A saving of £20 here, just £29.95, item number 203736. Now, everything that we've shown you there works, of course, with the one day special. You can change the caddies around, you can add on to that tower, so to speak. Let's show you a little video, just really just showing you exactly how useful these are and how you can change them around.
Yes, Deflecto, very, very useful indeed. And of course, our very own Leone, Paola, also has the system as well, which they use constantly. I think we've got some pictures to show you a little bit later as well. Uh, now, being very busy, right at the start of the show, we started selling on the one-day special. It's busy already. 10% of the stock has already gone. Uh, do take advantage of the saving, of course. You have got a saving with it being the one-day special. And you never know whether it's going to last until the final call show, which will be tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Now, we've got more storage for you. I recognise these as well, Sam, because we had these on uh, the show that I did previously as well. Yeah. I was really impressed with these, I've got to say. The quality of them, the way they stack together, really very useful. What we've got for you here are three trays, 12 by 12, and a storage unit as well. Yeah, so this product, um, we designed it last year, and I think we first bought it to a Chanda probably late, I think it was late last year. And yeah. We saw an opportunity, um, you know, so many um, of you buy 12 by 12 card and you know, spend, I was surprised at how much people spend on card um, mm. to craft with, so it makes sense to store it nice and nice and safe. So you're getting two options within, um, within the bundle, so you're getting the three individual trays. Now these do come apart, so if you did want to keep them kind of separate on your desk or you want to have them spotted around a few different places, you can do. And then you're also getting the three drawer unit um, beneath as well, which is a fixed unit. The drawers, you can take the drawers out should you want to clean them. And what we've done with the design of the drawers, you'll notice the little holes on the, oh, at yes. the front. Now the reason we've done that is, is that you know, there's a risk that when you were trying to lift up the card that you might um, damage the ends, so you just lift the card up from underneath. To oh, be able I'm to glad get you the, pointed that out, actually, because out. I, I hadn't actually realised that with the drawers. Now, you could use the drawers for other reasons as well. I can see this on a dressing table, maybe yeah. beauty products in there as well. Uh, I'm thinking also cake decorating. When you've got lots of tools and cutters, you need to see what tools you want, so they would be great in the drawers as well. So many options. Now, talking about the paper, Sam, as well, we have put some 12 by 12 paper in this top tray yeah. simply because I wanted to show, and this is important, it might sound trivial but it really isn't, you have got that wiggle room so to speak in there and you've already said about not damaging papers, yeah. we do spend a lot of money on our papers, if we've got something like Graphic 45 which is beautiful, you don't want to damage it and I know from experience from having a shop and buying very expensive sort of paper racks yeah. that were too tight, customers were pulling the papers in and out, catching the edges, you know, crinkling yeah. them, tearing them, wearing the edges. With this, you haven't got that. So you have got that wiggle room. And it's not trivial because it really does matter. So everything's been thought about. They stack very easily as well, Sam, don't they? So as you said, you can move them around. You can yeah. change, you know, the layers, so to yes. speak. Maybe if you want to put your plain or your black and white card in one or your patterns in an another, you can really organise your papers. It's a great system, this one. £45.98, £5 is a saving. Item numbers there on the screen for you, 367901. Now, we have had some pictures come in, actually. This is from our very own Paula. Now, I recognise those units. Now, there's a very famous store that sells those, and look how perfectly the storage and stackable unit works with those trays all in one into one of those cubes keeps everything very very neat indeed great idea to put your stamps in there as well I can see Paula's done that because you can see exactly what you've got lovely now we do have more for you as well we're going to move down again because we've got some storage containers for you as well now these are nice when these arrive Sam I presume they all fit into each other yes they but do. then of course you can use them for whatever purpose you want yep. for storage they look as though they're going to be very good as well if you want to keep index cards in there so if yes. you want to keep your address yeah addresses and things like that business cards maybe in there and um, what else can we say about these they're a really good size well I think um, you get in as you mentioned you know the three sizes so um, this one is the five by three you mentioned card index yeah. um, so these we've been manufacturing these in the UK for, for about 25 years really? for card index um, ah. but when I actually brought them in last time show Leone she said oh I'll, I could put all sorts of um, stuff for crafting in there you should uh, you should bring them to Chanda and we'll uh, get the, the viewers at home into them as well so you get the five by three the six by four inches and then the eight by five is the largest one that we do the fact that they're clear you know you can easily see what's inside them I think they're just a good all round you know if you were going to put say car keys if you had one yeah. near the front door you could put your car keys in there or pens pencils um, you know batteries just odd stuff that you would normally throw into a drawer 
they're great for that. They are, and what I like about these as well is, I've just got to the front one because it's easier to see, you've got that lovely base there, but look at the depth on the lid. So don't think that when you put something in there, you've got to stop at the level of the base because, of course, you've got that capacity within the lid there as well. I know when I saw these before, I had uh, my blending sponges, and I thought, oh, they'd be good for my sponges to put in. And I, I thought, mm, maybe I'll get, I don't know, 10 in there. I can't, I'm, I'm sure it was the smallest one. I think I've got about 20 sponges yeah, in there. They are surprised. You said because of the depth of them, you do get, you know, there's good capacity in the smallest one. Obviously, the largest one at the back's, you know, a great size. I mean, lots of different things you can store in Definitely. there. Definitely. Oh, recipe cards for your kitchen as well. That would be good. £11.98 is the price for all three of these. You are getting them all at 110747. Very, very useful indeed. Now we've got a desk storage unit yet. I don't think I've seen this one before actually, so I'm quite intrigued by this. What so, have we got here, Sam? So this one, we originally designed this product um, for washi tapes. Ah, yes. Um, but what we found is that actually it's just a really good all-round versatile storage unit. We see it being used in the homes. I, um, my wife Natalie uses it for jewellery because of yeah. the fact that it is, um, you know, it is clear the drawers do come out. What I do want to show you is these dividers actually in the drawers. Now, if you were using it for washi tapes, um, I think you can store around about 110 wow. bowls of washi tape in here, hence why there's the dividers, but again, you know, we see them being used at home, um, in the office. It's just another good all-round storage unit. It actually matches it's the same design as the 12 by yeah. 12 uh, three-drawer mm -hmm. unit we'd shown you earlier on as well. I do recognise it, actually. Now I can see the shape storage. I have seen this one before, yeah. and it is, again, another lovely piece. I see it again on a dressing table, maybe. You've said about your wife there. You know, I'm thinking, again, cake decorators or your tools. Maybe artist paint brushes could go in there as well. Really? lovely design. I think it's very sleek in design actually. I love it. £13.99 is the price. You're saving £3 today. This is your three drawer desk storage unit. But desk dressing table, it's entirely up to you. 789099. Now we've got some marker pots next for you. Now these are very useful as well. I, I like these a lot. I remember uh, having these on the show that I did last time as well. And I'm, I'm impressed by these as well for a number of dis different reasons. But we are getting two interlocking marker pots, holding 40 markers in total. Now, why are these so special? Sam? So the, the reason that we um, actually designed this product is they do work with the one day special with the caddy as well. So yeah. you will notice that um, this container is around about the same size as the single compartment that you get within the Deflecto caddy within the one day special offering. So. You know, especially if you have a stack of uh, six of them, to have this in the top layer of the caddy with different paint brushes, um, you know, you could put kind of craft knives, you know, obviously scissors with your, your pointy end down. Or then we also see them being used at home for um, on dressing tables for makeup brushes. Yeah, another good idea. It's just a good, another good versatile product. You can actually interlock them as well. So if you look at the imagery that we're showing you here, they do slide and lock together, which you can see kind of the way that they would link just here. They do. They just slide together very, yeah. very easily, don't they? So, which is great because then if you wanted a long line of them, you wanted to go for more than two, just think about the spaces you've got to work in. If you've got craft rooms that are quite tight for space, maybe you've got an area along the back of a desk, so you want them in a long, sort of long line. Maybe you want to stand them upright as well. You yeah. can do that, can't you? I noticed on the images there, in fact, we can see it somewhere on here. There we are. You can have them in a C shape as well. You can really put these together however you want. The other thing I like about them, not just the, the, fa the fact they're going to the caddies, which is great, especially for someone like me who does workshops or yeah. people that go to workshops and you're changing the tools around all the time so you can take things in and out I love the fact that where you put your tools that is flexible because we do get different shaped barrels on pens yes. not everything's the same shape so this is going to allow for that movement and everything to fit and also if it's filling those gaps it's going to grip things for you as yeah, well and that was the reason why we put the silicon insert in there is it just helps um, secure the item that's uh, you know that you're trying to store in there um, and as you mentioned, you know, if it's a slightly larger size kind of pen or marker or brush, there is going to be some give and some movement within that. 
and it's another product that we you know see is it's very easy to use and it also complements uh, the caddy which we've touched on earlier it on. It certainly does and some pens do recommend that you store them on the side so you can certainly have them this way up as well of course in your caddies it won't hurt just to put them upright again just for traveling around but if you did want to store pens on the side then you've got that option as well great price on these a freedom price for you as well ten pounds and seventy eight pence is the price four twenty is the saving for freedom members if you're a non-freedom member you're still making a saving three pounds there just eleven ninety eight remember you're getting both of these they're going to hold up to forty uh, individual tools there whether they're pens scissors or whatever you want eight six seven three six one is the item number now I have a love for ribbon Sam and we have a ribbon dispenser here which is probably something else that I should get because my ribbon's just thrown in a, a drawer the ends get all tangled yeah. up I don't keep it very organized and I should I'm terrible uh, this is a great way of organizing your ribbon so I think you know one of the things that we tried to um, kind of bring to market when we designed our product was we noticed that you know you spend lots of money on materials yeah. And quite often, as as you do, you throw it in a drawer and it just gets damaged. So you know, we see it as we'll help you save some money if you use the storage products, because you'll prolong the life of your materials. And um, so with the ribbon dispenser, it will arrive like this. There is some assembly, which I just want to run through with you. So you know, if it turns up like this at home, it's not broken. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate really, you know, how quickly it is. So if I could just get you to okay, hold those for a minute. Um, it's the one back. So they slide in each corner. Lovely. There we go. Straight in. Fit perfectly. You would have then obviously loaded your dowel up with the ribbon. You'll notice that there's locators on the side um, that we've just slotted in there. And then that just sits in. And it's a little click. Oh, I love this. It's nice and secure. And you can also close the lid. Now, what the lid does is when, that, um, when the lid is shut, you can store this in the one-day special within the caddy. But you can still pull through the ribbon with the lid closed down. It just helps keep the tension on the roll. Love it. Love it. That is such a clever idea. Also, going back to what you were saying there, Sam, about the ribbons, about we spend money on our products, we do. But also, the other thing that comes to mind is, and I'm going back to my drawer, and I should be ashamed to say it, my drawers do get full of ribbon and they do get tangled. It's the time that you're going to yeah. save by not having to search for things. You can see exactly what you've got there. You can have the, the ribbon ends hanging out of the caddy there. If you've got your favourite ribbons, then you store them in here. You can go for more than one as well. But you can change them around very easily if you want to, can you. So maybe change them around when you're doing Christmas projects. You could have your Christmas ribbons in there. Then we move into spring. Maybe you want your brighter colours. You can also stack these together as well, I can see, because the lids have got the shapes there yes. as well. So everything's going to sit perfectly. If it is on your desk, you know, it's not going to roll around or wobble about because everything's going to sit perfectly together. Nine ninety eight is the price here. Seven pounds is the saving. Great saving on this one as well. Four six five eight one zero. Now, we've also got some mountain bars here as well. So, we again, going, going back to people that haven't got a lot of room, you know, maybe you've got a tight space. I have to work under my stairs. I've got a desk under the stairs with my computer, yeah. but I've got quite a lot of wall space, but no sort of surface space space. So this would be good for me for hanging things next to my desk. Yeah, exactly that. So it does come with a fixing, so you'll notice the two holes are pre-drilled. Um, you get the fixings included. Just check that the wall plug that we've supplied is suitable yeah. um, for your wall. But the great thing with the mountain bar, you know, you're getting two of them, but you can also lock on the containers that you get within the caddy, which is obviously, you know, the one-day special we've got on today. And with the ribbon dispense, you know, that would, as you said about you struggling for kind of, you know, work spot, workspace and your counter, to have all of these mounted um, on the wall like that, you can get everything you need. It's only an arm's reach away. It just helps keep the surface nice and clear. And it's just—it's a really another really clever addition to the Deflecto storage range that we've um, that we've got. It really, really is. And of course, you don't have to put ribbons on that. Could be any of the caddies could lock into position for you there as well. Nine ninety nine for two of the mountain bars. Item number two four five six seven eight. Very, very handy to have things close to hand. Well, we're thinking about. Just remember to check your walls for the roll plug. Now, something else we're moving on to. We all, I think, I can't think of anybody that I know that doesn't have some sort of tablet or a phone. 
a mobile phone. Yeah. I think probably almost everybody in the world now owns one. But have you got something to stand them against? Do you sit in bed? Do you do some research? Do you sit at your desk? Do you travel? Do you need something to keep them upright? Well, this is what you want. We have got a tablet stand and a smartphone stand all in one bundle here. Now, these are a really nice design as well, Sam. Do you want to tell us about them? Because you can adjust the positions, yeah, can't so you? We've got the, um, so as you mentioned, you get in the smartphone and the tablets. The way that these work is a little leg at the back just enables you to change the angle um, of the item you mentioned for travel. Like if I'm on a, a train or if I'm you know, kind of flying somewhere, I tend to use, use this. You can have it on the tray in front of you. One of the great things as well is, is it actually folds really flat when it's not oh, it in does, use. Doesn't it? Um, you know, that would fit in your kind of jean pocket or. Yeah you know, your, uh, a jacket, so it doesn't take up a lot of space either. And the same way that that works is the actual tablet holder works the same way. So you have the leg at the back, and again, when it's not in use, folds nice and flat. Lovely. Nice, you know, it's easy to keep clean because it's not a, uh, it's not a, a leather or material, you just give it a wipe clean. And so many of us now watch different, um, you know, like craft alongs, yeah. or if you're following a recipe, online just to be able to have that there and um, it really does give you the benefit of using it certainly does. Tablet or the smartphone. These are a great gift as well aren't they? Ladies or gents it doesn't matter, teenagers as well maybe, universities, schools, colleges that sort of thing, something very very useful for everyone. I do like the fact that they fold so neatly together as well because yeah. if you do travel or just going on holiday you know I, I often have to stay in hotels because of work as well I always take my tablet and my phone with me I usually do some sort of work it's nice to be able to sit properly and have something at the right height that's nice and stable. I think this is a great price for these. £12.98. You're saving £10. Item number 309092. Now, coming up next, we've got uh, a magnetic sheet for you, or magnetic sheets. Let's have a look. We've got six, in fact. So what's what's so special about these? What would you suggest we use these for? Well, what we've... Um what we found with these is because they're white on the one side that we see people doing, um, kind of doing different designs on them, you could use them maybe as uh, fridge magnets is what we've seen. They'll also go through some cutting machines yeah. as well. Um, but from, from what we found, again, it's just a really useful way of storing um, your, your dyes that you yes, would have on there. Yeah. Um, and as, as we mentioned, because they're white on the other side, I think that's quite, that's quite unique. Um, it most is actually. Craft magnetic sheet isn't. And you're getting six of them. They uh, you cut them really easy with scissors as well. Uh, again, it's just another good um, addition to your kind of craft collection, really. It certainly is, and it's a very good price as well. I do love the fact that you've got that white side. Perhaps if you're making educational games for your children, yeah. you know, animal shapes, letters, uh, let them get involved. You know, let them draw maybe things onto here, and then cut them out for them, and then let them play with them, stick them on the fridge, putting things in order. But of course, save the date as well. That sort of thing. Your dice storage, as we've said there. Games, I can see there. Good old knots and crosses. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. You can make your own version, can't you? Again, you could you could do things like that yeah. and travel games for the car and that sort of thing as well. Because they're magnetic, then of course it's not going to be falling all over the place and losing bits down the side of the seat. £11.98 and pence is the price. You're saving £6 here. Item number 866553. And remember, you are getting six A4 sheets there. Now, coming up next, we've got the storage carousels. These are very smart as well. They look really nice. Um, again, you've got an awful lot here of space. So the first one we're going to look at, you've got six tubs here. These yes. are a really good size, Sam. Yeah, so um, this product is on a rotating base, but you know, it will spin round. You've got the nice clear canisters. The canisters do actually come off as well, so if you did, if you had this kind of stored away on a shelf, you could just take that item with you. We see them being used in the kitchen, you know, kind of the great for children's, uh, children's craft, um, different glues, maybe sort of building blocks. Um, again, we, you know, this is a product that we see when we have pictures sent into the office, lots of different applications for this one. Very, very useful indeed. Now, if we were putting food in there, we'd need to have the food in a sealed bag, yes, wouldn't we? we Not would. straight into the canisters. Exactly. So you can use them in your kitchen, you can put food in there, but make sure you seal that food up. But I can see so many uses once again, whether it's for crafting, whether it's your tools, certain cleaning products again, you know, again, your makeup, that sort of thing. If you've got teenage girls that are just getting into the makeup and the jewellery, you can see everything that you need to see through those canisters as well. I'm thinking again, workshops, if you want to store things at your workshops, if you're a teacher, perhaps, and you want these on your desk as well, they'd be very, very useful. £13.49. 
99 pence is a freedom prize for you here. You're saving money there. You're saving money regardless. You're still saving five pounds if you're not a freedom member. 14.99 is the price. You are getting a full carousel there with six tubs. Use them for different reasons if you want, or use them for all for one purpose for your crafting. It's entirely up to you once again. 128125 is the item number. Now we have another option, another carousel for you, but this time we've got nine tubs because we've got different sizes. Yes, you still get three of the um, large canisters that we'd shown you on the six tub, but you're also getting um, six of the half size containers now these are great uh, again we see this being used kind of the kitchen and around around the home but i know leone has like, several of these of a whole array of uh, different items in obviously we're showing you a few ideas there that you could use them for and um, we mentioned earlier about cooking you get the different cutting tools and yeah. um, the cupcake cases all the things that do get damaged if you have them loose in a cupboard you know this item really will help with that Definitely, because you've got the height of the canisters there, maybe for your tools, if you are thinking of cake decorating, you have got those different com compartments there, or the different canisters for your cutters. There really is an awful lot of uses for these. Fifteen ninety nine is the price, saving four pounds, item number 207206. Now we've got one more item on the counter to show you, and this again is very, very clever. We're back to kind of marker holders here, but this is different. This is your accordion marker holder. Yes. Very clever indeed. So, you're, getting, explain so it? you're actually getting two of them, so they'll hold each unit, each um, marker holder will hold up to 80 markers. So you're going to be able to store 160 wow. markers in total. Um, you know, and something that we keep um, you know touching on is that you know. The, the amount that people spend on buying materials or different things to craft, you know, markers um, you know, can be really expensive. So it just they makes can. sense yeah. to store them nice and secure. Clear lids, you can easily identify the, you know, the, the marker that you're after. As we know, some markers do need to be stored on the side, so you can safely do that with this unit as well. Lovely. The fact that the lid does lock on, you can see the mechanism there that just keeps the lid nice and secure on the top. And then it also has a really neat carry handle that's tucked away in the top of the unit. So if you were going to a workshop or I don't know, you were going outside to do some um, some drawing, you yeah. know, would be able to take that with you as well with the handle. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Again, artist materials, perhaps your paintbrushes. Look after them. If you've got good quality paintbrushes, you want to store them properly. Don't do what I do and throw things in a drawer. Now, we, ha we are getting both of these. £31.98 is the price. Again, a great price on them. £8 saving, 088849. Now, we have got a video to show you for these as well. Because we want to show you, it does say accordion. We want to explain by a visual what that actually means. Yes, a clever little video there. I've got to point out, though, yours won't walk along the tabletop. It's just, it's just very clever video. Uh, now then, we're back here with the one day special because this is very, very busy. I'm not surprised. Many of you out there have already got the systems. Many of you are still collecting and adding to their systems. Many of you, I know, won't have seen these before because we get new viewers all the time. So we are now approaching 20% of the stock gone on the one day special itself. We are, we are going to go through this in a little bit more detail now for you as well. But what you're actually getting are four layers of the caddies. So by layers, I am just, ex I just explained, just tip it a little bit so you can see. It's not just one caddy. You've got different caddies within each layer there. You can separate them. You can put them together. You can change them around. You can put them in any combination that you want. And of course, you are getting the wheelbase included, which I love the fact that this is 360 degrees spin on there as well. So if you have got a height that you're wheeling around, you don't have to worry about those corners going around tight corners and edges of, you know, through the doors and things, and you've got to turn left or you've got to turn right. This is just going to manoeuvre with you. Two Payments of twenty-eight pounds and forty-eight pence. 
You're saving £13 there, so you can take the FlexiBuy option, item number 187719. Now, we will go into a little bit more detail with these this time, Sam, although we, d we did quite yeah. go in depth before, but let's go right through from the start. Can we see them kind of separated down? Yeah, so I was going to say exactly that. how we start from um, the beginning. So if we, and if we take a look at what, what you're actually getting, so if we, as you mentioned, they do break down layer by layer. Okay. So if we take them all apart, and this actually shows how well the products stack, because as we start to take them apart, you can see how much space they actually take up um, you know, on our work tip here. So you're getting four of the caddies, and you're also getting the wheelbase as well. Okay. So you're going to be getting 16 of the single sized containers, um, all with the kind of snap tight lid on there. They all have the mechanism on the back. So, so you know, this unit doesn't have to go back in that space. If you wanted to take, you know, the middle one out on the back, you can do that. So you don't, they don't have to go back in the space that you're taking them out. We mentioned earlier on as well that there's a mounting bar that, um, you know, that we've shown you. So all of these canisters will lock onto there. So just to recap, you're getting 16 of those, and then you're getting four of the medium-sized container as well. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, and with those mounting bars, if, if you wanted to keep them close to your desk or wherever you were working, but then you did want to go on the travels or to workshops, of course, you can just pop them back inside. Now then, talking about the capacity, the room that we've got in each of those canisters, yeah. There is more than you think, and I am saying this simply because of when I did the show before, I was amazed how much I could get into each thing. And uh, there was a little bit of a plan here because I have, you know, you know I've been guessing the last three days, when we have to leave the studio, it's kind of get out, let the next, the next guest in. So I do generally just have to throw everything into a box. I'm carrying this around, Sam. This is what I do. I drive a van. Okay. I've got so many stack of boxes. None have got lids on because I can't get the lids on because I throw everything in. I'm just looking at the size of that box. It's almost taking up as yeah. much room as those as they are. Yeah. So when the footprint, so to speak, when you've built these together, yeah, it takes it's going to be a fraction. Space. Yeah, now, definitely. Now, I can't tell you exactly what I've got in here. It's quite embarrassing because it does look a bit of a mess. But can <laughs> we transfer some of those items into the caddies and see? Well, I given the gonna, weight It's of quite it, heavy. Shall we take line, it off I'll, you? No, I'll hold it. <laughs> I'll hold it, you take oh. some of the items out. How about well, that? Well, look, I'll tell you what. Let me take there that out go. of there. Put it down on the floor. I don't want, I don't want to do you, do you an injury. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> no, that's fine. We're good at that. <laughs> right, so we've got some ink pads here. We've got um, some Inca Gold there, which I was using yesterday in the shows. I've got my sponges here. I've got all sorts of bits and pieces. Shall we start there? I need you to put that down, Sam. I don't want you to hurt your back in any way, because I know it's heavy. Right, so let's have a look what we've got. Maybe then, in the larger canister, I'm just looking here, take the lid off. I've got things like these, which are my spritzers. So they would fit perfectly in there, and I've still got lots of room. In fact, would they go... No, a little bit tall, so they've got to go in this one. So they can go in there. I've only got three to put in there. I need to find something else. I've got some sequins, so let's pop those in there. Um, and so we've got in your oh magic my glue. box of items. Yep. There we go. Anything you can see in there that you think <laughs> is going to fit. We've still got plenty of room, Sam. We can still keep going. Oh, I've got a glue runner there. Um, oh, I'm trying not to mix it up too much because I'm trying to be organised. But actually, I can see everything I've got there. So that, that works very well for me. Uh, oh inks in there as well. Maybe I'll keep the inks for something else. I've still got plenty of room in that canister, basically. So let's pop that there. I think that's one of the things with the, with the canisters, when they are stacked together, the fact that they are clear. And this, you know, it wasn't by accident that we decided to go with clear, um, clear canisters. When we did the research into, you know, kind of what people want, clear was, you know, really near the top of the list. For the simple reason, you can quickly identify where the items are that you need. Definitely. Now I've just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven daubers in there. Eight. Still got room. Nine. I've got nine daubers in there. I think I've run out of daubers now. Oh, I've got a spare sponge. That can go in there. That'll just sneak down the side. And then I've got things like my my foam that I've cut from a sheet. That can go in there as well. Do you know there's still room? Still room. Do you know I've got these pots? I'm so disorganised because, I said it earlier, I spend more time looking for things than actually working sometimes because I can't find, can't find what I need. Stuff. 
So, you know, I can even fit that one in there a lot and get the lid shut. So we've got lots of daubers in there, and I can see, if I was using those for different colours, I can see each and every one. What else have we got? Inks. So I think we've looked at these um, before, you know, you can really, I think it was about seven or eight that we'd actually okay. got in. Um, how many have we got there? There's, there there is go. one, two, three, four, five, six there. Six there. So maybe it was six. Ah, now, can we get one down the side? We Quite can. Possibly. Seven. Maybe one on top. Eight. There we go. Eight. It was right. Eight inks in one canister. And as we mentioned, you're getting 16 of these canisters and four of the medium ones within the, uh, you know, within the offer here. Now then, I've got a pot full of sponges, the egg-shaped ones. Now, I used to have 20. I do know that because I've got them into a different pot. One, two, I think I probably lost some. Three, mm -hmm. four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It's a miracle. Nineteen, twenty. I've not actually lost any, but I've still got lots of room. I have indeed. So I think if we just very quickly now, I mean, just the fact that we've got a few items kind of stacked in there. If we were to then build the stack back up, so as we mentioned, it does take up. You know, the four of them was taken up around about the same sort of space as the the big box that you have been using. And I'm going to ask, why haven't you got any deflecto caddies? That's that's the do real question. That's probably what Sam? people are thinking at home They as well. probably are. And you know what? The show that I did, I did do a show, and I, the, it was unguested, and I had every intention of going upstairs and buying after the show, but unfortunately, we sold out. Ah. That is why I didn't get any last time. That is genuine. That is genuine. Whoever was producing that show will know that's a true story. Uh, so, no, I didn't manage to get them, but <laughs> I do. I drive a van. I need to go back yeah. to a car at some point. I am fed up of lugging boxes like that <laughs> around and being disorganised. So These are life-changing, I think, good. for people like me. <laughs> I really do. So as that stack is now kind of, um, you know, you've got the four and it's back on the wheelbase. So just to mention the weight that you can put in here before this handle would potentially break. It's around about three stones, so you're going to be able to get a lot of items in there wow. before you have to worry about that potentially cracking. Um, and as we mentioned, the fact that they are clean, you, know, you can, you could identify, um, you know, that those uh, ink pads are in there. And if you wanted to go down to that layer, you don't have to take individual layers off. You just unclip the top one, and then you'd be able to get to the item that you needed, and you can still put that back on. Yeah. So you haven't got to break down layer by layer to get to the item, which is great if you've got something at the bottom that you need. You just take the top three off in one game. Definitely. And for someone like me, and I know there's many people out there who are multi-crafters, by that I mean you maybe you're into your mixed media, maybe you do cake decorating as well, maybe you sew, maybe you do all those different things. You can have everything together here as well. So maybe you, you're in a sewing mood, you can put the sewing canisters on the top there so you're not having to constantly take things apart. Then perhaps you have a bit of time off your sewing, you want to do a bit of mixed media, you've been watching Lou with us and you're very inspired, then you can change it around again. You can keep everything all in one time so to speak and this will fit nicely under desks as well yes, won't it? Definitely. slide it in slide it out it's it looks neat you can see what you need you they're just great they really really are and I just love doing it but I've got to do the 360 degree turn as well because it is important when you're wheeling it around now 20% of the stock has gone with the one day special this is the launch show remember there's many more shows to come item number 187719 is the item number if you want to go for the one day special so that is four of those caddy layers there plus you get that wheelbase included as well we can give you this over flexi buy option two payments of 28 pounds and 48 pence is saving 13 pounds now we have got more we're going to stay here at uh, the coffee table at mm -hmm. the moment because we're not having coffee but we're going to talk more about storage if you want to go for extra of the caddies, we've got two for you here under a different item number. So maybe you're going for the one day special, you want to add on to that. Maybe you've got the wheelbase, you want to make more storage or build on that tower, you can. You've got the price here, £30.98, you're saving £29 here. This is genuine savings, really good saving. 613063 is the item number. You are getting both of them. And of course, yes, you can stack them in any combination that you want. It just adds to your collection. Fabulous. Now, we've got more as well because we've got the large caddy container as well, Sam, haven't we, to we talk have. about again? So you're getting the largest canister that we um which we offer which is this one here you're also getting the 
project tray as well, which if I unclip, so this large unit will work with the one day special. So you know, if you do buy this as a set with the stack of four, this you know you can just lock this on top, and this unit will work within that. So the storage tray comes out. This, from a size point, if you're wondering, is around about 31 centimeters in length. So you, you know, it's a good size, great for your larger dressmaking, yeah. scissors, or kind of the larger um, knitting needles. And with the storage tray, this is perfect for projects. You could have your different beads or your stamps in there, and it just helps keep them nice and secure. Now, with the lid actually closed, so with that locked in, you still get the benefit of the storage underneath. The lid snaps tight. And the way that we've designed it, if you did have things stored in the little compartments, is that if it were to tip, they wouldn't run into each other because of the little design function we've put into uh, the I'm lid so there. I'm so pleased that you can about see. that actually because, yeah, that would be a nightmare. If you've got yeah. lots of different beads in there and you did tip that or, it, you know, you knock something over and all those beads were mixed up, then you wouldn't be happy, would you? So everything has been thought about. Really, really like these as well. Great that they fit into your caddies as well, or your caddies fit into your layers here. Twenty-one ninety-seven is the price if you're going for this option. So you've got one of the storage caddies there and you've got a large caddy container with the tray of course. £21.97 is the price, £3 is the saving, item number 954722. Now we've got another option for you as well because we've got the option where you can get two of these with the storage trays as well. So there's the details on the screen. Again a great saving, £20 saving here, £29.95 for two of them. You're getting a storage tray in each of them, item number 203736. Now the final option we've got here at the moment is, of course, now something that's very busy actually, I'm just going to bring the details up, the large caddy container with the storage tray is busy on its own. Now I'm guessing that many of you are seeing, oh I can put that into, into my tower, you know I've built my tower up, I've got my wheelbase, I want something for my larger tools, my longer tools, my paint brushes, that's going to go in with the items that we've got in the one day special. Perhaps you're going for that mounting bar and this is going to be a very, very handy little unit that you can hang next next to your desk. I do think a lot of people who sew will go for this one as well. Again, I'm thinking of cake decorators. We've said about people that make jewellery as well to separate those compartments. Again, for your tools as well, your yeah. screws, your nuts and bolts. Yeah. You can put your bigger tools in the bottom there. Um, you know, there's so many reasons for going for these. Earrings, again, you know, jewellery. Maybe if you've got a bedroom that's quite tight for space again, uh, teenage girls, boys I don't know maybe they do model making or something like that a mounting bar on the wall with these on the wall when you're short for space it's going to keep everything nice and neat and they've got no excuse not to tidy up either because you can see when they put them away <laughs> item number four zero six three four nine nine pounds and ninety eight pence that's all it is five pounds saving and a quarter of the stock has gone on that particular item so, our star of the show, of course, is the one day special. This is what we've got here. So, just another reminder there with the details. Everything that we've seen other than the one day special on this table here, of course, works very, very well with it. You can interchange things as you please. 56.95 is the price for the one day special. All four of those layers, all those containers, all those caddies included with the wheelbase, item number 187719. Now, we've got another little video to show you now. Here's a treat.
I love that little spin there with those 360 <laughs> wheels. I just think it's fabulous. I'm always rushing around, you see, and I'm up and down corridors, and I'm like, I, you just need it. You need 360 degrees. Now, that was the one-day special, of course. We're going to give you a reminder of some other items as well. I really, really like these. I think they look very, very smart. If you keep your rooms tidy, if you keep your craft den tidy, your office tidy, this is going to look fabulous. Keep everything close to hand, especially if you're working with 12 by 12 papers, because, of course, these will fit in here. So what you've got is the unit at the bottom with the three drawers in here, and then there are three stackable trays on top. So, Sam, just tell us again, other reasons perhaps that you would use this, maybe if you weren't putting your papers in there, what else would you use this for? So we see, um, we see this being used um, in offices, so you know you would easily be able to get kind of an A4 notepad in there, maybe ruler, so... Um, like conference rooms as yeah. well, so you know, for people that don't turn up with a with a pen or a notepad, see them being used uh, conference rooms. But also for storing, uh, it sounds a little drastic, but like medical supplies. So if you have the shelf ah, in the bathroom, you keep that. plasters, your paracetamol, That's aspirin, a good point, different, yeah. just different things. Store them up nice and high, so out the way of uh, kind of little little hands. Definitely. Um, and because you know you've got the three drawers there, and you know, they look nice as well, clear clear unit so you know this would sit comfortably in a bedroom it wouldn't look wouldn't look out a place for jewelry or makeup brushes as we've mentioned earlier on and it also has on the bottom it's got these anti and little uh, kind of anti skid feet on there so you can see the rubbers ah yes on the very so bottom. it's not going to move around no. Just Perfect. helps if it's on a polished surface. Lovely. Very, very useful indeed. And then, of course, we've got the trays at the top, which we have got some 12 by 12 in. I am going to say it again. You have got that room in there, so when you're taking your pages in and out, if you're not sure which design you're going to go for and you're flicking through, then, of course, it, it is important when you spend money on those papers, you don't want to wear the edges, and I know it does happen. I've, I can say that from experience. So it's nice to have that space in there. Another thing I'm thinking of as well, and, and this is another reason I would probably probably go for these as much as I'd want my 12 by 12s in there. In, out, bills paid. Yeah, so may, well, and if you've got rooms, something, but, yes, yeah, if you've got something boosts. clear, you can't forget. See, again, I, it's something that I, I trip myself up on a little bit because of work and driving a long way and staying over sometimes. You think, oh, I've got to pay this bill. And then you put it in a drawer, you forget yeah, it's forget there. It. If you've got it on show, have one for your mail that needs dealing with. One for maybe things that you're posting out, and one for that you know that you've paid your bills on, and you're 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 not going to get yourself tripped up then, are you? Three six seven nine zero one is the item number. Forty five pounds and ninety eight pence. We have got flexibility option on this one for you. Two payments of twenty two pounds and ninety nine pence. Again, a great gift for someone because you don't have to worry about the decor with them being clear clear yeah. either. They're going to work in any room with any decor. Three six seven nine zero one. Now moving down, storage containers again. And these are fabulous because you've got a lot of room in these. You've got as much room in the lid as the base. So when you yes. put something that's got height and you put the lid down, yep. it's nicely tucked away. But you can store something of quite good size in these because you have got three individual different yeah, sizes. Yeah, so you are, as you mentioned, you are getting the three of them. I just run through the sizes with you just to give you an idea. So this one is five inches by three inches. The second one is a six inches by four inches, and the one at the back is eight inches by five inches. So, plenty of space to store different items. You know, we we mentioned earlier card index, and yeah. um, you know if you still keep um, you know kind of contacts on you know on those are perfect for that, but also for recipe cards, and um, you know or kind of playing cards if you're yes. if you travel or I don't know you you got a caravan or something you keep them in there, keep them nice and secure. Yeah, definitely. Car keys as well, and um, just all those things that you know you might put down on the side that you know you forget where you've put them. It's just a good all-round storage unit. I think it pretty much would sit anywhere in the home or in the garage or the shed, and you will find something to put in there and at Definitely. least then you can see it, you know where it is. They are very, very useful. Now I do know we had a question, you did actually say about the sizes there, but you were talking I think about the width yes. and the, the depth. Do we know what the height is of these? I don't. We don't. We'll but see. We can see if we can find something to measure because we have in your... had, do you know that's one thing I haven't got. <laughs> no tape. Do you know what, it's funny you ask me because I normally do have a tape measure with me. Oh, Keep okay. it in my handbag rather than in my... In my uh, I'm a bit of a DIYer as well, you see. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I like Talented the power tools. I like really the power tools. I'm, I'm, I'm always, I've always got the uh, 
power tools out and so I'm always measuring things and and uh, yeah oh I like all that stuff so I would I would have the one day special for my nuts and bolts and my screws and nails as well <laughs> now we will try and find out the height of these individually for you because we have got the three different ones I think I can probably guesstimate as yeah. best so given this was the five inches across okay so the height of the largest one is around about five inches so I would imagine that one is probably f uh, four inches okay and then this one is probably about three inches okay right lovely we well we can't give you an ex exact to the millimeter but uh, if we get it really accurate we will tell you but uh, as an estimation there hopefully that helps now oh I hear there's a ruler coming in can't wait <laughs> can't wait we can measure it we can I like to answer questions it's nice to be able to answer and Chloe's so excited she's running in with a ruler for us <laughs> Let's see how good you are, Sam, at uh, your estimations. So let's have a look at this one. Do you want to read that for me? There we go. So four, that one was. So four, four inches, inches in height. Um, five and six. six. There we go. So I went a million miles out. <laughs> I'm going to nice say that. <laughs> <laughs> nice to know, though. So, yes, so you have got very, very good capacity for putting your bits and pieces in there as well. Um, now, what was that about the lady who asked? Oh, it was Gina who asked for keeping her glues in. Gina was coming up in the next hour then. No? Jean? Oh, just Jean asked. I thought she said Gina. <laughs> <laughs> Gina's over there, though. <laughs> Gina would find all sorts of uses for everything we've got here. Jean wanted to know for her glues. Right, hopefully we've answered that now then. Uh, love it to get questions. Now this one, I'm just going to take away the package in there so we can see this. This is, again, I think this is very sleek in design. I love the compartments because you've got that sort of soft wave there. Yes. So it's very, very stylish. So again, whether you're using this for your crafting, it could be in a bedroom, it could be in any room of the house really because it's clear, you can see what you're putting in there. I just think it looks very smart. It also matches the 12 by 12 three drawer unit as well for the same design. It has the anti-skid rubber feet on the bottom, so if you have got it stored on a polished surface, not going to slide around, or if you've bought the 12 by 12 drawers and you want to stick this on the top, you haven't got to worry about scratching the top of the 12 by 12. Of course. The drawers do come out as well, so you know, should you want to... Uh, um, I mean, we designed this product with washi tape in mind, so you know, if you've got lots of washi tape, this is a great unit for storing them all nice and safe. The fact that they're clear, you can easily locate the items in there. And if we turn it round, you can actually see all the individual compartments that we're referring to now, which helps just keep the items tidy inside the drawer unit. It does. Do you know that's another good one for your medical bits and yeah. pieces again, your plasters, plasters and your bandages and things like that. Things. Great idea, very nice indeed. £13.99, pence, you're saving £3. Item number 789099. Now, would you believe we're almost at the end of the show, but I think we've just got time to go over the interlockable marker pots as well. I really like these, I've got to say, and they've been busy this hour. Over a quarter of the stock has gone. I think maybe some people may have got these and they want to add on because you can, you know, you can interlock them together into different configurations. You can stack them up in a tower, you can have them going across the back of a desk you can put them on your side uh, and they do interlock very very easily don't they Sam? Yes yeah, so the way that we've designed um, the product you can see there so it gives you an idea of how they would interlock so they basically they slide together the silicon insert enables you to kind of store items that would maybe you know slightly larger than that it also helps just grip a little bit they do work with the one day special as well so you will notice that's around about the same size as a single canister so if you were to remove a single canister from your caddy, you could sit that okay. in the top. If you've got that at waist height, it's perfect for you know for just having the things so off your workspace, but at the side of you in your yeah. stack of caddies. It certainly is great. I would put that if you're going to keep your pens in there or your longer tools in your one day special or your caddies, that would be your part of your top layer of course but you can make that choice yourself 1198 is the price three pound the saving item number eight six seven three six one freedom price there for you as well another saving for you we are at the end of the show i'm going to go and join gina in a second but sam thank you thank very you. very much back at nine o'clock yes. yes so do join us again or stay with us don't go anywhere just stay there get a cup of tea though Yes, coming up next, I'm going to go and join Gina. Gina B. Silkworth's coming up. Looking forward to that. Then we've got Gin, etc. Oh, that sounds good. Stackable Solutions, one day special to follow at 9 o'clock, of course, with Sam.
Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just the water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly inks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. So make sure you don't miss our shows on Achanda. Hochanda will be attending the Creative Craft Show at the NEC in Birmingham from Thursday the 19th of March until Sunday the 22nd of March. Take part in our famous Hochanda Tombola to win prizes galore. Or why not join one of our numerous make and take sessions being run by our crafty guest experts. You will be so inspired by their wealth of knowledge and expertise. You'll find us on stand F08 in Hall 11, so come along and say hello to the team. We would all love to meet you. Order your tickets online today at hochanda.com and we'll see you there. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favorite Hochanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or, if you pre-order your kit, you will receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hello again. Yes, I've come to the other side of the studio to meet, of course, the wonderful Gina. Good evening. How Hello. Are you? Fine. How are you? Very, Bit very well. <laughs> very, you know, it's fine because I've had such wonderful shows again yeah, today. Well, and it's great. I've only worked with you once before, yep, Gina. That's it. Uh, in my presenting role. I was watching earlier because you did have a show with Alex earlier yes, today. Yeah, completely we different subject. It is. Completely different focus <laughs> completely this evening. Completely different. Lovely show early, you can get that on Rewind, but we've got a completely different focus this hour. We have got, of course, our beautiful silkworks. Uh, now, we've got new today's as well. We're starting we have, right yes, here. yeah. So this is um, our flower comb range. Okay. Okay, and it's uh, ribbon ruching tools so that you can do repeatable ruching, which is gathering. Okay, yeah. All right. And we focus it to ribbons because you can make flowers really, really easily. You just need four steps. You mark, you stitch, you gather it, and then you join the two ends. And, and that's then, it. then that's it for basic flowers. Wow. But they can be used for so much more. And basically, new tonight are two new packs in the range. So they're, they're new patterns to make wonderful gathers and puffs and swirls and... Oh, I can't with. wait. I can't wait for demonstrations. Well, I've got to tell you, this is an incredible price as well. Look at what you're getting here. You are getting the flower comb set. You've got two tool packs here. You've got Alice and Nell. Plus, you've got the creative frame and the mobile phone stand, all yeah. for a great price of just £15.97. You're saving £7 here. I can't wait to see demonstrations, as I say. Gina, we've also, as we say there, you can see on the screen, you've got two tool packs included. Can we talk a little bit about this? So, there's two tool packs. Two in each pack, I believe. There's two in each pack, and then each edge of the tool has a different Lovely. pattern or a slightly different variation. Lovely. So, therefore, it's four different ones. Four different tools. Um, initially, they're designed, you use them with the width of ribbon yeah. that is the edge of the tool, but you can always use larger. 
Okay. Okay. So that's where we can get into using fabrics and and creating wonderful things and um, gathers and swirls with fabrics as well. I am absolutely intrigued by this. If I was to show you just one of the tools here, and now it's a little bit difficult because it's clear. But if you, if someone showed you that and you hadn't seen Gina before, you'd think, what on earth would you do what with that? What in the world would you do with you that? You certainly would. It's based. Okay. For a very very long time, ribbon flowers have been made using ruching yeah. okay and for instance traditionally um, you would draw around a penny to make to make the, a, the, a, a pattern the, to yes, keep like the scallop shape that's right and then you would stitch that and gather it in yeah. okay so this just basically expands on this okay. we've tried all of these different patterns and one of the tool packs that we already do is called sovereign yeah. and it's based on those coin ruching um, but these go way and beyond as well. We've got swirls and wonderful. all sorts of wondrous oh, things. It's quite interesting to, to watch the fabric sort of join in and Definitely. become something else. Definitely. We've got some fabulous samples coming up to show you as well. 912321 is the item number. You are saving £7. What a great bundle there for 15.97. We do of course have more for you. That's just the start of the show. So we're going to move on down the counter because we have got more options for you when it comes to product. Now we've got another lovely bundle here and another great price for you as well. For just £14.99 you can get the starter kit. So maybe this is a great way, if you've not seen this before, Exactly. This is, this, is, this has got ribbons in it already. Lovely. Different tools, so you're not going to be repeating, doubling up on anything. Um, takes you through the basic principle, because you also have a needle and thread. Lovely. But you also have ways to then expand it, so to make different types of flowers, maybe by twisting the ribbon oh. as you gather it up, or only using three repeats of a pattern, or putting it on a different size ribbon. So there's just a few ideas there for some different sort of fantasy flowers, you know, oh, but that you, so that you can sort of see what the principle of the whole thing is much more easily. Wonderful. Now I can see the ribbon that's included there is a satin ribbon. Could that's you right. use it's other a, ribbons? You can use other ribbons. You can use fabrics. Um, a double-sided satin works quite nicely in the sense that it doesn't matter yeah. which side you, you show, but you can use organzas. You oh, can use, oh it, In fact, when we take a look at this, on the inside, are also, it, there's a photo with all sorts of different oh, ones. So yes. that you can sort of see what... Basically, the sky's the limit. Try it out. Wonderful. Yes, always thing. worth experimenting. Yeah. So for the starter kit details there for you, 642528 is the item number. Well worth the 14.99 there, even if it's just to try a new craft out or again a, grif a great gif gift for someone as well. But now you just mentioned this next item, Gina, which is beautiful. We have our Ribbon Works Flowers book here. Now this is a really lovely book. This basically takes you through ribbon work, um, making different flowers, using the combs, but more specific. So getting into roses, yeah. um, getting into a daffodil or a daisy, so that it's more of a, a recognizable flower as opposed to a fantasy oh, flower, Okay, which is a lot of what we have here on the board. Those are our instructions for those are all in, in the booklet. So you can see there's quite a few different types of flower, and that's by using the combs. So that's a general to go with the different combs. So it I might see. ask for comb 11A or comb 7B and, and so I on. See. So it's a general thing, but you also get the two tools so that you can make buds and so Ooh. that you can make leaves and you can measure out to do traditional ribbon work where they ask for oh, lovely. A, a recipe from the 1930s might say you need three times your ribbon width. Right. So this helps you to measure out the three times the ribbon width so and it explains very, it to very you. Useful. Can I just ask Gina, mm -hmm. would we have seen these tools in any other kits? Are they unique to this kit? No, they're unique to this kit. Wonderful. Yeah. So you're not going to be doubling no, up be on any of your tools up. there. Now we can see the board at the back. I don't know, can I? I'm just going to stand back again. Did we notice the poppy? Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at this as well here. I'm thinking hair accessories, brooches, you know, decorating your bags, your cushions, all different things. How many times do you use? flowers in different oh, all the time and, and the thing is paper flowers are lovely absolutely gorgeous but sometimes textile art needs a textile flower 
It certainly does, yes. You know, that, yeah. that's just, you're making the same things, but you need a textile flower. You are, and how many times do we almost get to the end of a roll of ribbon and think, oh, I haven't got much of that left, and you, but you don't want to throw it away, you put you it away in a drawer. You make yourself a little embellishment that you yes, can use on something else. exactly. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole book here, but you can see the ideas we go through. Really lovely images there for you to see as well. Lovely instructions, great ideas for you. And what a lovely price as well. The price there, Freedom members, £13.49, 706641 is the item number. Now, coming up next, ooh, we've got some tool bundles for you now. Now, look at this. We have, we can offer you, actually, everything that you see in here. So you're getting two tools in each pack. There are eight individual packs, so therefore you're going to get 16 tools. So lots of different ways of creating those flowers, the different yep. ruches, the different shapes. That's right, that's right. This a is lot a of big different buy. It, it is, and it, it's really going to sort of see you through anyways. You'll be able to do all of the flowers mentioned in the, in the project book, yep. certainly with this range here. Um, and then, then some as well, because my hopes are that you will take it on further and do some other things with it. I mean, we, we've done things like pin cushions, the lamp, um, journal covers, and so on. There's a Wonderful. lot of things that you can do incorporating fabric as well. And what a lovely craft to do with your family and pass down to your children as well. Let everybody get involved. This is a great price again. Look at this. And we can split it over FlexiBuy for you. Saving £6.93, pence. you can take this over two payments. Two payments are £24.50, item number 180883. And remember, you are getting 16 individual tools. Eight packs, two tools in each. No repeats again here, Gina? No repeats. No, the new today are new, not included as Fabulous. part of this. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely intrigued by so many of these shapes. I'm looking down and thinking, I've got to see this. Really have got to see it. We need to <laughs> see get to how the demonstration. It works. <laughs> we really do. Now then, if we go over to the website, you can see everything that we've got available for you. It's not just the items on the counter today. We have got more besides as well. Of course, Gina is a, a lovely regular guest here for us at Achanda. Uh, we've got ribbon for you as well. Maybe you want to buy some ribbon that's going to work specifically for a project and you want to pick out your colours. We can offer you the ribbons as well. A uh, whole host of tools and different bundles for you. And also, if you're not a Freedom member, of course, you can go for your Freedom Club membership. If you want to try it out just for a month, you can do. See what you save on there. Also, Creative Craft Show tickets are on there as well. But the ribbons we've just seen at the moment, and as we just scroll through the website, we've got all sorts of options. Now, we've shown you that big pack of the tools there, but there is a pick and mix option as well. So if you want to go for a pick any two, so basically what you get in there is two in each pack, so pick any two. Uh, you've got various different options, different names on there as well. So that means you're getting four t tools in total then. Effectively, yes, you're getting you're getting four designs. So on, a, on some of them, it might be slightly different because it's simply for the narrower ribbon okay. or a narrower design, yeah. um, something like that one, okay. you can see that this is one of the new ones. You've got a shallow and a deep I design, see. but they're both the, the double jagged. But they are different in the sense of they're the different double jagged. You I know, the see. depths of yeah. them are actually different. Okay, um, lovely. Whereas some, you may get an entirely different type of design on either side, dependent upon the, the patterns themselves. Okay, okay. lovely. So you want to see how this works? The easy so way. I do. Okay. So I have marked this up, but I'm just going to talk you through it, all right? Mark so, with whatever you want to mark it with, okay? I'm taking a piece, length of ribbon. Okay, what tool is that one you've got there, Julie? This one is number five, which is from the new pack. I think it's Nell. Ah. Okay, and then each of the tools, if you can see, right, each of the tools has A and B either side. I so see. if I ever give any instructions, if I say 5A, it's going to be the wide one. Lovely. Okay, yeah. so that you have no doubt which tool it is that I, I'm referring to. Much easier than sell it, saying Nell number two, number right side, and then you've got it upside down. It doesn't <laughs> work. Okay, so that's why we've numbered them. All right, okay. and then mark it. You can mark it with a fabric pen. You can mark it with a felt tip if you want to. I mean, you know, you have to be careful it doesn't go through. I like pencil, but I know pencil doesn't tend to show up so much on TV. Okay. So in a couple of the demos, I'll probably be going to um, a fabric pen. Just for the demonstration yeah. purposes. Um, you can use air erasable pens. Yeah. Um, as I say, anything that you want. If you're using a, a black ribbon, go with a, a white gel pen. 
Oh, of course, yes. Okay, because what you're going to do is you're going to use the other side of the ribbon anyway as the proper side. Okay? okay. So we're going to mark our repeats. Now, normally, a repeat will depend on what you want it to be. But you can see that because of the way that the, it works, you just basically move it along. So you can uh, go for miles if you want to. I see. All right? So if you want to do something that's, you know, swathing around chairs at a wedding oh, or something nice like idea. that, you can go ahead. And the diff that's the point of the tool. You have that continual repeat. You're not trying to measure out so that you can do some of this traditional ruching. Okay. okay? And as I Lovely. say, most of these designs are not traditional ruching designs at all anyway. Now, I've got sewing thread. I have actually put it through singly. Okay. Okay? Not double. Because double will tend to tangle when you're trying to gather up. Right. So it makes the ruching It just easier. makes it much easier. You'll need a fairly long piece, but you can... It's all relative. You're going to be pulling it up. Okay. Start with at least two back stitches. Okay, just to lock everything into You've got into position. to lock it into position and a knot will not do it. Right. As yes, soon as you start tugging, through. it will just keep tug okay. through. So you, your point is, is to give it a little test, make sure you've done that. I always like to leave a little bit either side before I've started as well. Okay. And then basically you just stitch. So it's, it's just a back stitch. It's just a, a running stitch. A running stitch straight yes. running stitch. Sorry, I didn't mean that. I don't know why I said back stitch. <laughs> and you can vary it. You can measure out properly on each one if you want to, and then you'll get something that is very, very consistent across the uh, gathers. Or you can do them close, you can do them far apart, but basically just follow your line. Um, the project book gives a lot of other ideas for for maybe doing one long stitch and two short stitches and so on, and that changes it all again. So it's, it's really quite endless what you can do. It is absolutely intriguing this. Can I just ask Gina, yeah. if you were doing this at home, yeah. would you use a, a thread that matches the colour of the ribbon rather than a, you a contrast? You can, um, but actually a neutral is really good. So a okay. grey, a um, usually greys are really nice because if you stop and think about it, everything that you're gathering in is going to be in shadow. Oh, so if point. you have a light, rib, a light thread that yeah. matches your light ribbon and then you take it into the shadow, that light could pick up as flecks of light in the shadow and look a bit odd. Oh. So if you use a neutral and go with a grey or um, beige or something like that, you'll tend to find that it's hidden more. Yes. So That's it, a really it's, good point, actually. It, it's quite interesting that y your, your instinct is to say, oh no, definitely, I've got yeah. to absolutely match it, but you don't need to. Likewise, depending on how tight you intend to do your um, gathering, you know, sometimes you can do it a little bit looser, so some of the threads will show a little. But if you're going to do it really, really tight, you can almost do a contrast thread because you won't see it. Of course. Because it's going to be gathered up so tightly. So don't stress it too much, basically. This is really something that isn't, you don't need to have nice, perfect stitches. They Wonderful. don't need to be a perfect distance apart. They don't need to hold anything together. So it's not like hand stitching where you're worrying about when I turn it out, it's yep. the stitches are going to, you don't have to worry about that, so long as your and first knot is okay. You can see there with Gina, just following those lines, very quickly you can get to the end of a quite a large piece of ribbon. Yeah. Just as you're getting to the end there, Gina, I'm just going to remind Thank everybody you. about our book of, as well, because this is a really, really good buy. £13.49 is the freedom price on it as well. Now what you're getting is the Flowers Project Book and the flower comb pack, number 35 and number 36, which is the leaves and the buds. I'm just going to show you inside the book a little bit. I'm not going to show you everything because, <laughs> of course, you know, you want to really study this when you get it home. There's lots of little snippets all about yeah. and hints and tips for traditional ribbon work as well. 
beautiful absolutely gorgeous really lovely buy this one seven zero six six four one is the item number lots of lovely ideas in there for you as well now we're going to remind you of a couple of other items I think as well now coming up one of the new items in fact the first one we saw on the counter we've got that on the screen there and uh, Gina you're using this now aren't you yes, because these yeah. are the tools I think you were right you said Nell didn't you I we've got Alice Nell, and yeah. Nell they're the tools <laughs> in this particular pack now not only getting the tools you are also getting the creative frame which is a mobile yes yeah, so it's a mobile phone stand well. or little picture frame stand or whatever creative frame is one of our ranges which is encourages you to create textile art in a permanent place so right. that we have all sorts of various looms that are interchangeable but this oh, comes with a loom and a little pattern for doing needle weaving so you needle weave the background which of course allows the air to circulate when yeah. your mobile phone sitting there what a great idea how lovely and then decorate it up with flowers and be all springtime lovely. 1597 this is the kit we're talking about right now so you can see everything you get in there so that kit there what a clever idea it really really is in fact this is one of the completed little creative frames here you can see exactly what Jim was talking about there you can see how the air would circulate how about standing your phone on your desk created and decorated with those beautiful flowers that you've mm. done yourself really is lovely isn't it great and idea the back fits those sticky notes really nicely <laughs> which was ah. a coincidence <laughs> <laughs> very clever indeed yes alex loves her sticky notes maybe alex is going to make one of these <laughs> oh she'd love the show with you earlier gina oh, it is a completely you. different focus this i'm just going to say that again because if you want to get the earlier show you can get it on yes rewind. the earlier one was buttons it certainly was very interesting i did watch it from the lounge nine one two three two one is the item number for this kit what a great buy at 15.97 right so i've done my stitching all ready to go okay I like to turn over when I start the gathering so that the line is facing down because then I know that my right side is looking quite smart okay. and then basically you just gently pull and work it down and you can oh, see yeah. that the gathers are forming how clever and depending on which shape that you've actually stitched and of course how you have stitched Getting a twist there, and you just work it down, and straight away you can see and that you, shape. You've got it. You've together. you've got your your flower actually appearing almost before your eyes. I've got it. Lovely. And gather, gather, gather. There we go. And then, so that's the mark and the stitch of the instructions. And then as you pull down, you will see that it a lot it wants to curl into it a flower. Does, isn't it? It, it wants to do it naturally. Okay, so then you can simply join the two sides ah. and make a flower. It's as simple as that. So but what I like to do is I like to gather it up as much as I'm going to gather it. Okay. And work a couple of little stitches because that just will hold that tight. Because obviously it will slide about if you yeah. don't do that. Then, if you join your two ends, oh, I see. Okay, and you just—that's why if you have a little bit of excess, you can. So you can join those. layer these as well. If you used a wider ribbon, you can yep. have different layers. That's right, and just keep building them up. And another thing that you can do is you can close up the center by coming up with your thread, and then going around quickly. And you can close it up even more by doing a second stitch around the center section only. I see. Do you know what I'm thinking? If you've got your wedding dress or yeah. a christening gown or something in a wardrobe and you think, you know, it's just there, it's, I don't, it doesn't One of our uh, uh, customers did flowers. a lot of flowers, I think, for her for the tables for her daughter's wedding. Oh. I could be mistaken which part, but she, she did a lot of... Um, deep red flowers. What a great way of flowers. recycling your, your And outfits. the thing is, is we, I mean, we're all hoarders anyways. We, we always keep, like you said, how many times have you got little bits of ribbon that you just, yeah, it's too good, I don't want to throw it away and whatever else. And there you go, you, you've got your little flower. Just tidy up some of those ends. 
Just little hair accessories as well. Do you know, and that's it at its most simple. Amazing. A nice Amazing. little flower. Absolutely lovely. Oh, and you could put beads in the middles and little beads, gems, you put buttons stamens, in there as well. Everything. Yeah. Beautiful. So that, as I say, that's at its basic. And each different pattern will produce different types of swirls or gathers or poofs or whatever you want to call it. It depends on the actual one. So if, if for instance, you look on that journal, there's this like one. an S swirl. <gasps> look at this. Now that's in leather. Wow. And then oh, it is. Yeah, that, that's in leather and that's using... How clever. Uh, if How I recall clever. correctly, it's using this one. That is really lovely. Let me just bring and so this you see, in. you can see the S is coming through. Can you? I don't know if we can. Have we got a little bit of card just to we'll put see behind if that? There. So this tool, this would this be in the, the big bundle? Yes, and that's also in the big bundle. The and and that one well? is, um, yes, I think that one is, car well, Let's it says what number it is. So right. Number 18 this one is. Carolus, maybe. Wonderful. So you can find that I one. Can I've so named clever. them all so myself effective. and I always forget the names. I love that. There's actually, um, uh, on my YouTube channel, there's a tutorial for how to do that with these combs. Let's see what else we've got here. Is what, what about this large flower? And that large here? flower, so it's a big piece, again, fabric. It's doubled over. Anne has, has created That's that by beautiful. doubling it over so you've got that extra volume yeah. before she's done the actual stitching. That's so really she, it's two halves that she's actually stitched together and then gone round and round and round and round to create that really big, bold flower. That is beautiful. It's just, it, it works so well. It does, doesn't it? Um, it's the same as um, on the quilt. She's done lots of different types of flowers and little teeny oh, flowers and large flowers and, and use it as a, a decorative element. And I mean, it's worked so well. Because that is beautiful. That we're always using flowers in, as embellishments. So why not make them a little bit different? So to create something like this, Gina, would the big bundle be the one to go for? Yes, because you've got so yes. many different Anne flowers had, in here. Anne has the lot. So yeah, she was just adding on all different flowers just as she was making them. Th that is absolutely stunning. Do you know, I'm thinking many of you are looking for a new craft here as well because we're very busy on the starter kit as well. We're very busy on the book and the bundle. Uh, we'll bring the details up for the starter kit. But if you want to create something like we've just seen there, that is absolutely stunning. That is a real heirloom, isn't it? Then you could be going for that big bundle with all the different tools there. But here's the starter kit. Many of you are going for this. I do think people are looking for a new craft. Maybe you want to gift this as well. Maybe if you've never seen anything like this before, this is affordable for so many people. There you are, 642-528 is the item number. $14.99 is the price. Of course, you're getting instructions there. You are getting two of the tools. You're getting ribbon as well. Now, we have got a pick and mix on ribbon for you as well. So maybe there's a particular project that you've got in mind and you want to choose a specific color, maybe something for a wedding. Then look at the pick and mix for the colors that you want. Any tool for £11.98, you're getting 20 meters there. 20 meters on each roll as well. So any tool, so that's 40 meters in total. Now, there are many different options on there for you. Now, there is another pick and mix for you as well. You can go for any three, saving £3.39, £12.60 is the price, item number 199196. 20 metres again on each of those reels of ribbon. So 60 metres of ribbon there in total. You're going to make a lot of flowers with those. Yes, yes. And each of the on um, pick and mix of the flower combs themselves, the descriptions of the individual flower combs does tell you which ribbon widths. Perfect. So you can cross-reference yeah. it with the ribbons that are, are actually available up on the website if you want to. Wonderful. Right. I thought that I would show a little bit of how you can do something with fabric. Oh, okay. I'm so to make a little um, pincushion. Pattern, dead easy. Okay. Piece of A4. Okay. Fold it in half. Yep. Fold it in half again. Okay. Okay. And then you want that. And then fold it in half again. So you want three of those, right? Okay, and then your base will be one of those. Uh, all right, right. So, so this is a, a rough and ready. What you're going to do okay. um, with the flower combs now? Because I don't know, don't know. Will the cameras pick this up if I do this? Hopefully. Now you're using tool number fifteen. I'm using fifteen, and I'm trying to decide. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll keep now, with the large number one. fifteen. Will, yes. will be in it's the one of the new one. One of the new ones. No, it's one of the new ones. Oh. Yep. 
It's in the first item, I yep. believe. We'll just to make sure we've got that right for this you. This 15 is going to be in Alice, maybe? Or is it still in Nell as well? Alice is in the pick and mix, actually. So you can go for Alice yes. there if you want to The do. new ones are as also well in the pick and mix. As the yeah. first bundle. The first bundle is at the bottom of the screen. There, of course, you but are getting this Alice this can be Nell. done with any of the combs. Yep. What I'm about to do here can be done with any of the combs. Lovely. It does not matter which one. I'm choosing this one simply because the sewing time. Obviously, if you're going with one of the swirls, that's a lot more yes, stitches because, are required yeah. um, in order to actually keep go around that and you guys would get really bored on TV watching me do stitch those swirls okay so we're gonna start I've gone right down the middle okay but you could choose a thinner design one of the the shallower ones and you could go either side okay, if you wanted to yeah. and that creates a sort of Edging. Oh, I like that. And then a, a puffy bit in the middle, but I've gone either side. So, and that's actually, I've, I've done that one with uh, 30. So you see, you can do whatever you want with them. I presume then, Ginny, you could take... You could take this technique into some clothing if you yeah, wanted to. Yeah, of course to, you could. Of course you, you could. If you wanted to change something up a little bit. Exactly. All you have to do is do a test piece um, to see what the take up is for the size that you need because obviously here for this rough and ready I've done three times yeah but for some of the designs you may want five times so okay. it just depends in yes. the same as any other gathering that you would do you know if you're making um, any of the ruched yeah. little uh, summer dresses but you could do it so that it had the swirly ruching on I it think, for I instance think so so effective actually really effective could be a longer top as well that you've got room to ruch up so you go in panels at the front and kind exactly of you can do all sorts with it garment. that's right you can really do all sorts with it I just want to say that if you have um, a design that has points it's a good idea at least the first time to make sure that you actually put the needle in at the point Right, okay. okay. And that's because if you don't, then you're actually creating a different thing entirely yes, to what the points I, I were. That. Um, now, afterwards, when you want to experiment, you know, ab absolutely go for it, experiment. Cut the corners and everything else. But the first time that you do it, so that you can see the pattern that emerges with a particular comb, you want to make sure that you're actually on the points. So you see, I'm not being really careful with this, not, but you know, it you is can. absolutely intriguing. This actually, because I, I totally understand how it works, but you just wouldn't imagine the th thought of things that you could create. It's, the patterns, the it's actually you can the patterns you shapes. don't imagine that that they'll work. And there were a lot we we tried that don't work. Um, you know, the reject pile was. <laughs> You just go, what is that? <laughs> it just it was a horrible mess when you gathered it up. But to to create something that they're really nice, for instance, when you're using them on satins. I yeah. think that's why it works so nicely on ribbon, because you can actually see the swirls that come up yes. nicely. But if you use satin or lining fabric, of course, that yes, looks that, that gives that, li that satiny effect, that works really nicely. And as you say, you see, you can do cushions. Do it right across the front of your cushion. That and would then look lovely, actually. And I'm thinking as well, because of, of you don't have to be a soft crafter to be able to do this. You no, don't need you a do sewing not. machine. This is very portable as well. Yeah. It's something you can get everybody involved with. If you were doing a cushion, um, Gina, let's say you wanted to rouge through the front panel. Yeah. How would you work at how much fabric to use? The first thing I would do is take some of the fabric that you are using, if you can, like a, a long strip, okay, and do that. Yeah. So that you've got a measurement, so that you can say, right, I've started out with this much, and if I've gathered it, I've gotten this yeah. much, okay? Because that that's your best way to sort of work it out. I always... So you go you're bigger basically again. You're, you're making your own scale system, it, That's you? right, yeah. that's right. And it will depend on each of the different combs, yes. which is why there's no hard and fast rule, but I would say at least three times. And it will so depend on the fabric as well. It will obviously. depend on the fabric because some fabric won't tighten up as much. Yeah. Um, something like the leather, that won't tighten up as much as a satin will. There's, there's too much bulk there. Um, but 
on the whole, I think you've got to at least say three times. The nice thing as well, if you're doing that, you can keep the bits that you've tested as reference yeah, exactly, as well, just to see exactly. how they look. Make not, it, and, yeah. and write them up. As I say, on the where um, I go with the um, on the YouTube channel with the journal cover, I do talk about that a little bit as well, because then when you want to get into diagonals, you have to think, well, I need it this big, and then this big, yeah. and then this big, and you have to go on a diagonal. So the first time you do it, do a straight one. Okay. Straight across Good the middle, tip. I would advise. Okay. <laughs> so then we're going to gather this. up. And go. again, I've turned it round, and you can see Look at the, the, the design that is actually that is being lovely. created. And that's being created just by gathering it up. And you can manipulate this. And if you were to count and do all of your stitches really evenly, you would get a really even design. Um, you could do one large and then three small stitches, and that will change it up again. You can also lovely. stick your fingers in there, puff up different bits, and manipulate it a little bit so that it's more what you want it to be as you're working on that pattern. Do you know what I'm thinking? All those offcuts, if you know anyone that does so and they're throwing their offcuts away, just grab them. But all. you were saying with, with garments, you see, what you could do is what they, they did in the Georgian era yeah. is that they would take, and they, they didn't do all these fancy designs, but they would take fabric and literally do this and then that becomes the dress trim of course, you see of course. and then you're not worrying about resizing yeah. your patterns and messing about like that and so you can do that with your cushions and so on as well you know just um, you could leave the edges raw if yeah. you want that rustic look yeah. and then just gather up in the middle or you can you can take it further so I've gathered oh, up lovely. and then all I need to do is say okay is that just about fit my bottom piece okay and play around with that when I am happy that I think that that's about the same width and I'm, that's going to work, then again, it's back to a few back stitches. Okay, just to lock everything just in. Just to position. lock everything in, yeah. I'm thinking, look, just looking at that little bit of fabric that you've done there, Gina, as well, what a lovely way of making headbands because you yeah. could get very plain basic headbands or ones that you've got a little bit bored of because you could yeah, tuck under just the edges exactly. and have that beautiful ruche look. Yeah, exactly. And every single one of them will be different and unique. So that is basically going to be the, the top of our okay. pink cushion. All right. Now, you can spend hours, if you want, pinning it so that the side, the side down and you can arrange them all or you can just pin it and just sew. It's entirely up to you. Okay. But I've decided that I would pin it down and then stitch it in. And I will, for this one, use double fabric, uh, double thread. Okay. And I am just literally going to sew it. So you can use sewing machine if you want to. Do Lovely. it by hand. But if you haven't got a sewing machine, you can, of course, do this by hand. Totally. And little course. projects like that, really nice too. And uh, again, and the I'm real thinking scrap about busters as well. That's oh yes, that's a good idea. Maybe you've got garments, you know, of someone that you've you've kept somebody that you've lost, perhaps, or as I've said earlier, a, a wedding dress or a christening gown. You want to recycle things, just so that you know you're getting a use out of those things that you've you've kept for sentimental reasons, but they're just hidden away. Well, the other thing that you can do is, don't know if you know about my one button a day challenge. I saw, I was genuinely watching you earlier, so I did see this. Yeah, so that button is made using this comb, this pattern. There we and go. And so I've this. used a that little so scrap nice. of really nice wool fabric and then ruched it in together and made a button and that is the smallest piece of fabric that you can wow. you know it was about this big and that to create so a button clever. so you, you can really scrap bust if you're really if you're someone like me who really does keep those lovely little bits of fabric because they'll make something nice lovely. <laughs> are we all right just have a little bit of a break do you know, yeah absolutely i'll keep there? stitching through that should i or do you want um, me to come up and follow you you can you can keep stitching for now we're going to say hello to alex first of all she's <laughs> going to tell us about freedom hello everyone i've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of hachanda freedom did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. 
Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Lovely. And of course, Alex will be up in the next hour as well. Now then, a bit of a recap for you. Uh, now, we have got Alice and Nell, the two tools that are included in this first pack. Not just those. These are brand new today, by the way. You're also getting the Creative Frame, which converts into a mobile phone stand if you want it to, or you could uh, just display some artwork on there. Really clever idea. So all of the pieces that you see in here. Now, when I say you're getting the two tool sets, you're actually getting two tools in each set. So in total, you've got four tools here as well. Brand new today four different patterns so they will rouge in different ways you're going to create different flowers you're going to get different sort of swirls so to speak we can see the patterns here absolutely beautiful whether you want to make long lengths of this and and put them around uh, cushions or around seat seat covers or something like that a lampshade perhaps even onto your clothing you could do that if you want to make individual flowers you can rouge them up and create the individual flowers you can layer them together as well because you've got the option of doing different sizes this is called Siltworks. We are showing you samples here with ribbon, but you can, as you've seen, use your fabrics as well. Recycle your clothing. Uh, you're going to get different looks with different items. Now, the bundle that we've got here, it's a great price at £15.97. You are saving £7 today. Item number 912321. I think if you're looking for a new craft, this is a great craft to have a go. I think it's something because it's portable. You can sit quietly. It's not messy. You're not going to get inky. You can sit in front of the TV and do it. Something to get the family involved in. It's something you can take on holiday or even take to work and do in your lunch hour if you want to. Great starter price there at 15.97 with that £7 saving there for you. Now we do have more for you as well because we have got one that we're classing as a starter pack. This has been busy as well. Now just something to mention again. We have kind of uh, mentioned it earlier but I'm going to say it again now when you look at all the different kits we've got on today's show there's no repeats of tools whatsoever so if you want to go for more than one item you're not going to go for repeats of any of the tools so you can safely safely choose more than one item but the starter kit here this has been busy love this because you are getting two tools in here you're getting thread you get a needle we are even giving you some ribbon to work with in there now it is a double-sided satin which works beautifully because it doesn't matter which way up you've got that ribbon but you can of course use other things as well so when you've run out of the ribbon of course use your other ribbon your scraps that you've got if you want to buy from the pick and mix that we've got on the show you can if you want to use your fabrics you are getting lovely instructions here as well I'm guessing this is going to be quite addictive I think once you get going with it you're going to be coming up with all sorts of ideas you're going to want to keep doing this apply them to your bags apply them to your hair accessories your cushions your clothing it's entirely up to you 642 528 is the item number and over 20% of the stock has now gone now moving down we have got your flower project book 
Now this here is another item that's very busy this hour as well. You have got the book. I'm going to show you a little bit of it. It wouldn't be right for me to show it all because you want to get this home and really have a good browse through it. Read, of course, all the hints and tips, the instructions, the ideas in here. Beautiful images, I've got to say. Lovely photography in here. You can see very, very clearly what you can achieve. You can make all sorts of flowers here. And of course, with the tools, the details and the instructions for each tool is going to be in there. So, you know, you can just try things so play around with this the tools that you get in here just as a reminder completely different to any of the tools in the other kit now this one with this one you're actually getting the tools that creates leaves and buds so really really useful if you can afford to go for more than one one bundle then this is one I would go for because you're getting the buds you're getting the leaves you're getting of course that book there as well with the ideas there maybe you want to go for the starter kit and this one maybe you're going for some tools perhaps you've already got some tools in past shows and you want to add to those but I would say at 14.99 this is a really good choice 706 641 is the item number then of course we have got lots of goodies for you on the show we have got the whole bundle of the tools here for you no repeats once again nothing at all is repeated for you here new tools for you here eight different packs now each pack has two tools in it so you're getting 16 tools in total now Gina's named all the tool sets that so you've got wonderful names here but if you're going for the full pack we can split this over a flexi buy option for you as well two payments of 24 pounds and 50 pence now getting busy on this one as well 180883 is the item number so many different ways of ruching your ribbon your fabrics you've seen you can ruch in the center of your fabric you can ruch into your clothing you can upcycle your clothing all those scraps of ribbon I love the fact that you can even ruch the leather now it's a nice soft leather but your faux leathers as long as it's got the right sort of consistency to it the fibers in it look at this hat now that is amazing isn't that fabulous I'm not I don't think I'm a hat person but I'm actually going to put this on now how oh now then oh let's does that suit my hair does it I, w I would wear this hat, especially with those flowers on there. Do you know, have I got hat hair now? <laughs> now then, I really, that was a really nice hat. I always thought I'd, do you know, I've never bought hats until this year. I bought one before I had my hair cut. And perhaps my hair does suit hats now. Who knows? Now, of course, you've got lampshades as well. You can decorate your chairs. You can decorate, you know, your journals and things. It's, it's endless, really. There's no rules as to what you're going to put these beautiful flowers and your ruches onto. Now, we have got also for you a pick and mix in the ribbon. So perhaps you want to make something for a christening or maybe a wedding. Maybe you've got projects where you need to make sure you've got plenty of ribbon all in the same color so your pick and mix is really good pick and mix any four here details on the screen 11 pounds and 96 pence great price now there are lots of options here we've got what's that how many 30 35 different options there for the colors four six seven three seven one you've got brights you've got pastels you've got neutrals in there as well so lovely lovely choices wonderful now then, you have also got, don't forget with those bundles, the big bundle, that has been busy actually this hour. Um, a lot of you are now seeing, you know, what you can achieve with that and all the different projects, whether it's your mixed media, soft crafting, upcycling your clothes, whatever you want to do with it. But there is a pick and mix available on the tools for you as well. Details, I believe, yes, there they are, at the bottom of the screen. Oh, no, that's the ribbon. That's the ribbon at the screen. We will bring at the bottom of the screen for you. There we go. There we are. Pick any two. Remember, you're getting two tools in each pack, so essentially you're getting four different tools if you're going for that particular pick and mix. £13.98, pence. Six seven eight one five three. Now, Jeannie, you've got a little bit more to show us, haven't you? Oh, I've look stitched it round, turned wow. it out. It's not the best stitching at the side, but it. turned it out, stuffed it, oh. and it's a pink cushion. That is really, and it's really lovely. As simple as that, but I mean, look at the interest in it. It's not just putting together two pieces of fabric. You, it's, you've it's added not, all of that it? interest to look at as well. So little so fabric. Do you know, I'm going to say because Molly, 
Molly in our um, gallery, who's our lovely director for the evening, has just said it looks like a little soap bar, which makes yes, me think, yeah. do you know, you could actually make little jackets for yourself yes, if you're yeah. gifting soap or you've got handmade yeah. soap. What a yeah, with wools and things it. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Or lavender bags as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely lavender bags, all of that, because each thing is creating something that's unique in itself. As I say, that's using a different comb, that's off to the side, um, the orange one there at the front, oh, let's just pick this one that's repeating well. three times with another comb again. So you can see that there's, there's all sorts of different patterns that you can create with your fabric. Now how lovely would that look yeah. as a full-size cushion? Exactly, exactly. I think that's gorgeous. Absolutely really stunning, could. isn't it? Oh. And a great way, as I say, a great way to use up your stash. Oh, lovely. I love it. I've got hair accessories and everything here. So what are we looking at now? So Regina? I'm going to quickly show you uh, one of the, when I was talking about changing the stitching. Okay. Okay. So this is a, a twist rose that's in the project book and it's mm. using the number three flower comb. Now I've just taken a, a length of ribbon and I've sprayed ink on it and sparkly ink and everything so okay. that it's it's got some color and texture so who really knows nice. what this will turn out like but this is quite the nice thing about it and I have marked out seven repeats so seven of each of the mountains okay now for this what you need to do let, of course let's make sure that it's locked in okay, first. So back to a single thread because you're doing yeah. that um, Yeah, back that to the stitch. single thread and lock in. That one caught and didn't lock in. And this is why you make sure that it does lock in because you don't want to do all the stitching and then it comes out. Trust me, it's really frustrating. Okay, so what we're going to do, now let me ch double check how I tell you in the book because I don't want to do it in the opposite direction. Okay, so I'm telling you to go one long stitch ah. and then short stitches back down. It doesn't matter which side you oh. do, to be honest. So we're going one long stitch along the length of that point and then short stitches. Okay, ah. so we'll come back up. You might always need to do a little stitch just to yeah. catch it, depending on how your sh short stitches go. Okay. And then one long stitch, and then come back and do the short stitches. And it's just a case of repeating that yeah. technique? Yeah, so we're repeating this one, and this, this will really change up what happens when we gather it. One long You know, they're talking in the gallery about knitting as well. I'm just wondering, could you ruche knitted garments? Would it work? Um, it depends. If it a knit. It's going to depend on whether the thread is going to lock on the knitted. Okay. Um, and sometimes knitting, the, if you sew, it just keeps going yeah. through because of the way the knitting is. It might be better to have, um, you know, when you put something in and it slightly felt because you shouldn't have yes, washed it yeah. and it slightly felt, that yeah. might be a better time to ruche it and give it a bit of new life. Yeah. <laughs> just just play, just have a just have a go. That's it. Yeah, it is about absolutely, experimenting. Absolutely. You know, so long as you're catching it to keep the pattern, I think that's the thing. Um, and a lot of the loose the point of knitting, the way that knitting is structured in, with the one thread may not actually give you anything to catch hold of properly. Oh, just as you're repeating that, Gina, I wonder if we can have a look at the quilt again that's on the wall. I just think this is stunning. Yeah, Absolutely I'm, stunning. I've got a terrific design team in Anne, Chris and Gillian, and that is been created by Anne, the uh, quilt, and it's just out of this world labor of love it really is isn't it and something i asked you at the beginning of the show as well you know was can you use more than the double-sided satin you can see organza's being used there yeah you can see all those different size flowers the different variations many people have gone for the big bundle this is the sort of thing that you could create using your beads as well you don't have to be a soft crafter you don't have to have a sewing machine no. obviously if you want to create a quilt like that with all the decorative stitches then that's a little bit different but those embellishments are absolutely beautiful 
Now the board that we've got here as well, Gina, we brought that in because of course this is a good representation of what you can achieve from the flower from project, the project book. book. That's right. Yeah, yeah, the instructions for all of those are in the project book. Wow. So you're getting more um, more of the specific flowers there. So you're getting the daisy, the pansies, things like that. So that keeping in with the, the traditional, I want to make a rose, I want to make you know, the lavender buds, yeah. in, in telling you how that you, you can do those. And of so, of course, you can also change those up to other things once you know a few of those techniques. You can indeed. A lovely book. We have it here as, of course, you can see the details on the screen there. Now, the, the book itself will reference the tools that are required in the instructions as well. The tools that you'll need are all found in uh, the bundle that's at the bottom of the screen there as well. But you are getting the tools 35 and 36, which creates the leaves and the buds. And just remember that any of the, the bundles that we've got available today, not one of those single tools is doubled. It's not repeated at all. So if you are for going for, obviously, um, more than one item, you're not worrying about repeating any of those bundles. The only thing you've got to watch out for, of course, if you're going for pick and mix and you're going for something else, make sure that you've gone for a different option in the pick and mix to what you're getting in one of the other items, perhaps, if you're doing that. Right, Lovely. so now oh, we'll gather it. Can't so, of this. course, now because of that one stitch, what's going to happen is it's twisting on itself. Can you see? Oh, wow, how clever is that? Look at that. <laughs> now, isn't that the weirdest thing? <laughs> it is really weird. Now, what you then need to do, you've virtually got a rose there because all you do is, is bring it round. But that... You've got all those lovely puffs and you gathers, have, and it's twisted round on itself, so you've got all the different bits that yep. you've colored, okay? Okay. So we're going to lock it into place. We're quite happy with that. Okay. So always wise to do that locking stitch yeah. once lock, you've Yeah, lock up. it in where you want it, because particularly with fabric, you may not, you know, you're not going to want it that tight. You're no. going to want it spread out so that you can see how some of the swirls are created of course. and then you can just manipulate it a little bit more if you need to to make a little rose just cut that so it is a case starting of, when thread. you think of a rose you've got all the petals that none of them line up they all sort of overlap yep. each other but you don't really have to do anything but join because it naturally starts because place. of that twisting this is one of the easiest ones to do and I then just, love just to stitch them that, together. That that being pulled up <laughs> it's there. fascinating how it just closes up on itself, isn't it? It really is. And that is so effective how you spritz the ribbon there as well. Yeah, I've just Look used regular that. inks. Um, you could use some of the ones that were on earlier today to do that. That would be gorgeous. I had a look at some of those inks. Look at that. Lovely. And then you have a little rose. Um. Wonderful. And of course, again, different widths of ribbon you could make. Exactly. Smells. And then you've got the buds in the Exactly. In the, and there's, the, the, in, well. in the project book, you've also got very traditional roses. Yeah. You know, so that you can make something that looks more with the curled leaves. And um, I think I'm, it, we call oh, it an, ant, roses, an so old rose. So you've got different types of roses that you can make. Let me just show you this. So you've got the antique roses. Mixing and the, with the twist, uh, which is what we've just made. Leaves. So you just twist it all up and you've got little rosebuds. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. And remember with the book, you are getting the buds and the leaves, which I think are essential, really, with your roses especially. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I can just quickly show with the leaf, if yeah. you like, as well. We okay. can do that. Now, we've got time. I'm using my prototype. You, Yours has better marking here. It's okay. got a little, the ones that come with the, the project book have a little um, triangle shape okay. so that you can mark the half mark a little bit easier. Um, and I forgot to grab one of those out and I still have the original. So what these squares denote is ribbon width. Okay. So you see they're the same uh, size yes, as course. your standard ribbons. Yeah. Okay. And so that way, it's going to be easier for you to measure out when an instruction says you need three times ribbon width, okay. you'll need three of these squares. 
really good that yeah. match up to the width of the ribbon yeah, so that's very easy to for this through. one we are going to do I think it's three and a half just double check my notes for the right one that I want to show you okay, we've got a minute so, and a half left, okay Gina. so easy go one two Lovely. three and then you have your half marks which you can put in all right Lovely. so we're going to cut the ribbon at the size that we want and cut out that excess at the beginning okay and then you're going to fold over oh, okay I understand and then you fold over again and you get a little pointy thing all right and then if you take your thread I'm going to go this side so that I can see that I'm catching everything And again, a couple of locking stitches. Lovely. And a quick gather along the bottom. A uh, straight yes, running so stitch. Give it some shaping. Pull it in. And you have a little leaf. Wonderful. And so, of course, that will change if you have yeah. wide ribbon you do three times of course three and a half times the wide ribbon wow. and there you have your little leaf perfect for your flowers perfect. and perfect timing because we are being counted out thank you for joining us don't <laughs> thank go anywhere you so though. much we've got an hour of gin coming gin. up next on the one day <laughs> special yes it is gin etc coming up next and then we've got stackable solutions one day special with alex and sam and then john next door monthly mega